Hello and welcome back to the Loading Ready Run Invitational. We have here the probably one of the final turns of the most intense tournament we've ever seen. We've got Wheeler on Mono Black. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. We got Alex over here on uh, Colorless. And anyways, Wheeler, this is for all the money. Can you win it? This is the fi this is turn five. I'll try. Uh, untap. Yeah. Upkeep. Uh, drop. Three cards in, four cards in here. Okay. Uh, land. Tap all your creatures. Combat, meld trigger. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. He saw the line. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was rude. Woo! I'm disqualified. Congratulations what? on the win. Yes! Alex. Never seen such terrible no! sportsmanship in all my years. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> the hell? <laughs> hey, everybody! Hey, Paisanos. <laughs> uh, welcome to Chit Chaff. Uh, uh, we got something a little different. Uh, before we get into that, let's quickly talk a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, the LRMTG is brought to you by you. We support the Patreon over at patreon.com slash Aloni Ready Run. We literally could not do anything without you. Thank you for your support. Well, hang on. Anything. Remember to breathe. <laughs> uh, and all our magic content is sponsored by the wonderful people over at Card Kingdom, cardkingdom.com slash LRR. It's an affiliate code. Maybe, maybe you see some singles today and you think to yourself, I should get one of those. Hot singles in your area. Hot singles coming to you hot from uh, Seattle, which is very chilly right now. Um, and if you say, Loading Ready Run sent me button, please. There's a hilarious button that says, uh, if I live, I've got lethal. <laughs> Classic. So classic, right? How many people have found themselves in that extremely relatable position? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure since we uh, put out that button, that particular situation <laughs> has happened on many occasions. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, tonight, we've got ourselves sort of a weird show. Um, a chore. Uh, <laughs> What? Well, now you no, call no, no, it no, no, like no. that. It doesn't sound fun this anymore. Is, this is so self-indulgent. So I pitched this at a planning meeting where I have um, a magic collection starting back from 94, uh, but playing fairly actively, fairly consistently since Zendikar, um, that uh, I don't change my sleeves. I clean my sleeves. And Wheeler's told me that that's bad. It doesn't, it do doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah, I like. I would literally spend hours watching streams with a, with a wet cloth, wiping my sleeves and cleaning the gunk off them. And what Wheeler was telling me is actually gunk can form inside your double sleeves, which can start to wear down the value of some of your cards. Because they're not perfect. They're called perfect fits, but they're not always perfect. Yeah. So Wheeler convinced me I had to do this, and I was just like, God, it's exhausting to have thousands of cards. I need to downsize my collection as well. And so I pitched it. Uh, to the planning meeting, I was like, we don't know what we're doing on the 23rd. This is kind of self-indulgent. Do people want to just hang out with me while I literally re-sleeve and downsize my entire magic collection? And these two actually seemed really down for it. It's because we're stupid, I, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm imagining you uh, taking your car, taking, get, like, getting like uh, one of those um, golf ball washers at the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and just like putting, yeah. the, you putting just the, dunk the card in there. a couple <laughs> times. Yeah. <laughs> you, get a, like, you get a cup of tea, you just dunk your card a couple times. <laughs> the crime just game. holding it out like yeah. something the dog peed on, like this, <laughs> and you got a hose spraying at it. Uh, so I have here 3,000 brand new inner sleeves. Uh, 3,000. Uh, what, what now? What's wrong with my inner sleeve? I'm not going to name the name of the company. Okay. But I've been trying to get inner sleeves, and I was I could have for months, and I haven't been able to, and this is why. I didn't realize I bought out their entire you stock. Bought out their right entire stock. Wheeler tried. What what sleeve company only has three thousand inner sleeves? Not CardKingdom.com. They've always got it in stock. All right. All right. Uh, so this is my entire magic collection. That's a bag. Yes, um, and for the most part, it's pretty organized. So I didn't want to doctor this. I wanted to show my collection in its state. Um, I have, nope, not that box. <laughs> not that box. Yes, this box. Uh, this is actually literally the two decks that we used in the last session of North 100 Showdown Ooh. that we haven't done. Sneak peek. 
Uh, these are the only sorted loose cards in my entire collection. Okay. And then everything else is by type. So this is all of my gold cards uh, with dividers in them, separated by every Ravnica guild and then multicolor beyond two colors. Okay. Uh, this is every non-basic land that isn't one of the big ones. Uh, this is an empty box that we can just put the cards in if we're done. Uh, do we want to start with spice or end with spice? Yeah, end uh, with spice. We'll okay. end with some spice. This is, the, this is the holy grail of my collection. We'll talk about this later. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I get a hit of that? Yeah, yeah. Get a oh, jeez. Get a load of that. Christ almighty. Would, would you say that those are the cards of Carpenter? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Well, they made a, well, they made a black lotus now. <laughs> I know. So let's, uh, let's start with the loose cards. Okay. So here's our goal. Here's our goal. Um, I only play Singleton. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that 75% of the magic that I play is Canadian Highlander. And over the pandemic in particular, I've gotten more into Commander, specifically Webcam Commander. So if a card is no longer relevant in our glorious format, that is Canadian Highlander, or is too fringe for Highlander, and you know, not Highlander, pardon me, uh, for Commander, mm -hmm. then that card goes in this box. Okay. Otherwise, we unsleeve it. Uh, we remove the outer sleeve into the garbage. We move the inner sleeve into the garbage, and then we will start. Uh, we will start to. Uh, re we will start the resleeving. We will make some cuts to your collection. Ha <laughs> mm. uh, ha. Yeah. So this is it. This is every unsorted card in my entire collection. Okay. Everything else. Everything else has a home. And so, this is stuff that we should either say yes or no to. Yeah. So I've got like a bunch of Kamigawa cards here. Like, I don't know. Here's a great question. Um, Mech Titan Core. Uh, trade this to me. No, well, no, the, I the, yeah. <laughs> All so, right. So how strict are you for Commander? Because anything's Commander play. If it, if it has a theme, so for example, I like to play Angel Tribal. So I'll probably keep all of my bad Holy angels. Holy Oh, sorry. Actually, there's a couple cards here that are wheelers. Right, uh, so Wheeler, you owe me $10, including this extreme life. Oh yeah, <laughs> Woo, look at this Pringle. So I, I actually put it in order to cardkingdom.com using our affiliate code slash oh. LRR. That oh. almost stands oh, on its own. Uh, and here are the four cards you wanted. That uh, one's kind of sad that it's curling. We've got Well of Knowledge. Yeah. Uh, fracturing <laughs> Gust, Rain of Gore, mm -hmm. and a Pringled Haunted One. Wow, <laughs> Pringle. Look, it stands up. <laughs> Look, Ma, no hands. Oh, yeah. All right, you got some of the fun ones there. All right, yeah, like I could probably cut a bunch of these. So like Acquisition Octopus, right? Three mana, two, two, Aphidian equipment. It's it's not good. Patchwork Automaton, this is actually a duplicate. I don't need. Right, if you see duplicates at some point, we can get rid of it too. So I need to think of this through, like, what would you play? Yeah. <clears throat> right. These aren't good cards. You're looking for cards that certain things are good. I'm just Wait, start. hold on. Hey. I didn't mean it that way, but Paul makes a good point. Was Born to Drive the good one? What was that new combo piece that came from the set? I can't remember. No, Swift Reconfiguration. Yeah, that one's bad. All right, so this whole stack, I'm looking to keep an Iron Apprentice, a Cloud Steer Kieran, and an Iganjo Exemplar. You're just saying words. Why are you keeping this? What if I, I like I like my my aura decks? Okay, but that's not an aura. It's an enchantment creature. Oh. Yeah. Sanctum Stompy? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no? yeah. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. No, this is a bad one. You're right. Let's get rid of it. Let's Wait, get rid no, of it. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You're right. I okay. thought it was I thought it was better than it was. It's okay. not. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it in the garbage. Oh, right. Yeah, some of these cards are actually just good. So Alex, for example, uh, just hit the full art Phyrexian um, Shieldred. Okay. Uh, the full art Phyrexian altar of uh, Shiodred, the new Shiodred. That card's pretty good. That's kind of cool. Patchwork Automaton. I have one of those already. Oh. Yeah, that, that one's a duplicate. Shiodred? I'm trying to unbend this foil talisman of creativity. Shieldred. Oh, what did you just toss in the box there? 
uh, two hover mirrors. Two hover mirrors? <laughs> hold on, hold on. The, the... Now, th okay, that's rude as heck. I know. All right, I, all right, I had right, to. Right. I had so to. So we have one hover mirror, which is fine. We can toss this one. This one is a signed artist proof hover mirror, though. This is a signed artist proof hover mirror. Okay. We keep this one. Okay. This one's valuable. But yeah, we can toss the other one. These are all the cards that. Where's the I... toss pile? Uh, well, hold on. So. Okay. Wait, that was my keep pile. Yeah, th oh, those are yeah. all the cards oh, okay, that okay, I looked okay. at and go, like, these are playable in camp. So, how so we keep Mech Titan, eh? I mean, it's a token. All right, hand me, give me the Mech Titan. How did your time. Mox Diamond get in here? Uh, again, these are my loose cards. These are cards that I haven't put away yet. So they're they're not necessarily bad cards. If I was building a deck and cut a card, it might show uh, up there too. That feels like a thing you'd like in Commander. How, how many hover yeah. mirrors do you think Dan Scott has signed? I think I've got a second one of that. That's a good question. Two. Probably not a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think just rares you should also keep or at least put, not throw out. Like in some before we toss some of these, we should also be like, this might be worth money. Oh, I'm not throwing these out. These are going to... Why did you throw Locked. the card? <laughs> yeah, anything that's a rare, we'll put it in the box and I'll try and sell it later. Yeah, like Sailor's Bane, Oh, Hero of Eros we'd keep, and Invoke Despair. I don't think I'd ever play Invoke Despair. Okay. Is that a commander card? I mean, if you like Mono no. Black. Yeah, toss okay. that. That's fair. Uh, it's true. I believe technically, yeah. I mean, artist proofs don't have the magic back, so technically they aren't legal to play. Uh, That's but okay. obviously with Hover Mirror, you have options to have a diff another one. Do you want to crack it some of the sleeves? collectible. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is a duplicate, so we can toss that. What? These are all keep things? It's, it's weird. Uh, yeah, I mean, they seem like things you would play. There's ninjas in there. I like an artist proof. It's not yeah. legal to play, but it's not a That's proxy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's sort of the opposite of a proxy. Well, it's literally just a collector's item. Yeah, That's but, it, but all it's, it is. But it's like the opposite. It's like it's still it's it's like it's not legal because it's too real. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the one that was before the actual one that was released. Suppression field here. I have an Italian suppression field. Yep. Uh, is that what you put up when you go visit family? <laughs> Yowchies. Damn, I'm heading back to Calgary tomorrow for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Better get up that Italian suppression. Yeah, field. yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll double check whenever Alex is ready the second. Yeah, so like that, the Mox Diamond, for example, can come out of its inner sleeve. I don't need to sleeve a token. Do you sleeve your tokens? I don't sleeve my tokens. Uh, I sleeve my tokens, but I don't double sleeve my tokens. Okay. It depends on the token. Oh, the Ragavan monkey. Is that one worth money? I, I mean, it's a Ragavan. It's gotta be a hundred bucks. Stupid monkey. How much could a monkey possibly be worth? Ten dollars. <laughs> More than the banana. More than the banana. Look, look. Which came first. Yeah. So at any point when we start going through cards, I'm also down to just like talk about them or random weird stuff. I imagine our the binder will probably have more questions than anything. Yeah. Um, and then uh, basic lands, we should inner. I mean, I probably have enough sleeves for everything. Nah, we'll just now we won't worry about inner sleeves. You've got a bunch them. of um, like cool lands too. Cool lands here. Yeah. How do you do? How do you use your basic lands? Like so, so I have a I have a different box somewhere that just has, has all the basics in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we could actually that's where all the snow lands are. Uh, basics sometimes go with the color, but we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> All right, Archmage's Insight. Why do I think this is Charm. a dupe? Charm. Right, sorry. This was in a deck got cut. That's why it's there. Um, yeah, here, look through all of this, Wheeler. And actually, all these cards. Put the basics to the side. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, this is a Jamie Topple's Altar of a Snow-Covered Mountain. Mm. So this is kind of cool. I don't know how I'm supposed to show this to the camera or whatever. Uh, but one of my oldest friends, uh, who just like hangs out on my Twitch chat sometimes, rated her channel, loves her content, backs her, and then bought her art oh. to send to me as a Christmas present last year. Oh, hell yeah. And it was just like the greatest sort of like full circle that, that sort of ever come around there. Um, uh, if you put it out, put it, put the, put it on the... Um, right there? Yeah. All right, let me, uh, You've already already double the sleeve all those. Let's give one sec okay, just for the the Wheeler pass, the Wheeler the, the Wheeler purge pass. Let me purge. There's another plane. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. And then there's also a uh, a plane for that as well, Paul. There's there's no way you don't have these already. 
So th those, are, are... those are nicer ones. I should probably keep those. Or do you like the OGs? I, I could sell those. Those are worth more to sell than to play. I mean, always go with the OG. I don't know if I have, well, sorry, I don't know if I have an OG OG. I just have an older one than that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about your 10th edition shot. <laughs> <laughs> OG, OG, OG. Uh, oi, oi, oi. Do I care about Turn Timber Sower? You play lands. I probably play lands. Same with Elvish Reclaimer. We can keep those. What's this stack? Plan the Filer. Rogue Class. Like, is that a card I'm ever going to play? Uh, how do you feel about playing rogues in uh, Commander? Probably never play it. All right. That one. Uh, I've got this, actually, I got this very pretty um, full art foil alt, uh, whatever, uh, Umezawa. Satoru Umezawa. That oh, one I might play in okay. Commander, right? And you like ninjas. I, I think it's like worth ninjas. keeping the ninjas. Ninjas Silver are Wingries. fun. Angie. Yeah, these are all fine to keep. <clears throat> all right. Uh, one last favor for this pile before we get started on the next stuff. Just put these aside for now. Uh, can we go through and sort all of these? Oh yeah. Sorry, this was actually this was actually a gift somebody in the community sent me. Uh, this is a just a snurge token. Wow. Wait, let Wee. me see that. <laughs> I mean, I was serving by color. Oh well, there's a whole pile of these that are just like mixed. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Kamigawa stuff. I'm a Wario. I'm uh, a Wario. All these, all these Kamigawa lands are very pretty. Uh, I don't think I are care. You are you play? gonna No, yeah. no. Let's, I, I know what my basics are. My basics are, you, you know what my basics are too. All right, so these are all white, amazing. Oh, white or black or blue. I'll just they're, start. No, they're in Wooburg order. Yeah. I feel like the the spot in the uh, in the deck or the spot for uh, like, oh, oh man, these these full art lands are so pretty. I want to get a full place out of them. I feel like that that spot keeps getting uh, shifted to the <laughs> next set whenever like the new, they, they have been putting out some amazing full art lands well, I, lately. I was certain, I was certain that I was going to do that for the Kamigawa lands when they came out. Um, and then I was just like, that's a lot of work to replace all my <laughs> lands. But I mean, and then like, but like the the even the like the the new Phyrexia or the uh, Phyrexia will be one special uh, full art lands are pretty like they're just they're they're just killing it with the lands, which is a shame because it's like we should um, damn it, I want else. to just have one set that was like the super nice set. They keep bringing out new ones. I just yeah. realized we're blocking the whole camera there. Yeah, there's like a meme you could probably make of like. Magic player, uh, magic player proclaims, I'm gonna get, these are gonna be my new lands for the fifth time in a year. Yeah. You want another hot take? <laughs> the, the meme of the like, you know, guy looking at the other girl we walking with his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Woo. But it's just lands. All right, look, look, this, these are the basics that I play. Original Ice Age. Mm. Out that's, of curiosity. that's all I need. Out, out of curiosity, when did you start playing? Uh, 94. Fascinating. What set did you start playing? With? I started playing sometime between Ice Age and and um, mm. was it revised or fourth edition at that point? One of the two. Fourth. It was fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, so some of on. my some of my first packs oh, were absolutely. I kid you not uh, alliances. I was cracking homelands. Uh, um, oh yeah. Hold on. Were, there, were, you, were you doing a check to make sure that he could legitimately use Ice Age lands? No, it's just the, like <laughs> these are my favorite lands. I was wanted to be like okay. And what was the first set you started playing? <laughs> then they usually yeah. curious. Yeah. Hmm, curious. Tell you participate in society. And yet you are society. Woo. Come on, get in there. Burr. Of course, of course, there's the, the, the other school of thought for uh, <clears throat> having a draft set is to just, you know, deliberately have different different lands from different sets yeah just to infuriate people <clears throat> well it was interesting because i i i've seen the um the the flex that is having every single basic be different and then i remember having this like very interesting conversation with jeremy white on i think it was actually on a north 100 years and years ago about how there's actually a very small strategic advantage of having the exact same art for every land yeah because if you get hand attacked uh you give less information to your opponent when you play one because like, oh, you played the, the Rebecca Gay art. Well, I know you have three other lands in hand, but it's like, ah, you played one I didn't see the art of. Yeah. 
right? <clears throat> I mean, the the other side of that, though, is that uh, when you have lands that have all different uh, pictures, then figuring out which ones are the non-basic lands are even, <laughs> is a lot harder. Thank you. If you're trying to angle shoot that way. Yeah, that sounds like hell. Yeah. All right, next up, uh, gold, lands, uh, or one of the like straight colored boxes. What, what do you want to? Let's go with a. Let's, let's go with gold. Gold, eh? Yeah. So this is this is a section that could probably get some easy cuts. Yeah. So how many cards have you cut already, by the way? Uh, it's hard to it's hard to count. Who can say? Because those are also just like stuff you've got, like a box. Yeah. All right. So Paul for the overhead. So yeah, this is every gold card I own based on organized by guild. Not in any particular order. Oh my god. This is... I didn't realize how much this would tilt me out. What's wrong with it? What do you mean in any particular order? D does it matter which order the guilds matter? Blue, white... Or sorry. Uh, white, blue, blue, black, black, red, red, green, green, white. Is that Wooberg Wooberg order? Yeah, just it looks good. And then uh, black, white, black, green, green, blue, blue, red, red, white. That's how you do it. Now, these are in pink sleeves. Uh, that is the majority of my collection is in pink sleeves. And you're redoing it in black? And we're redoing it in black, and we're also getting rid of the inner sleeve. Do are you want Simic? Are you, uh, they, are, these, matter. are these matte black, or? Uh, yes, these glossy. should be matte. Uh, let's try and keep all of the other random sleeves, because I use them as just, like, dividers for now. So yeah, like, this is where it's tough for me to know what cards to keep. Like Spell Queller, Reflector Mage, Scheming Fence, actually, these are all really good cards. <laughs> Five mana Vencer. There's a card I can probably cut. What? Oh, okay, apparently not. I take it back. <laughs> what about the multis that are... What about the gold cards that are more than two colors? There's a whole section at the end for a catch-all. Oh, uh, my God. What's up? I had to put... It, it took effort to get the Simic Charm out of the sleeve. So that Simic Charm has probably been in that sleeve since that card came out. <sighs> Good thing... Um, what, what's that? Was this gate crash? So that's like two years ago, right? Two years <laughs> yeah. ago? What's is, that? Is wear tear still playable? I, I don't know. No, no, wear tear. No. It's got fuse, but. Wear tear, I love you. It's got fuse. <laughs> Where are we putting. Uh, cut cards, just make a pile on your side and we'll go through and we'll, we'll add to all okay, of it okay. and I'll take the whole stack. Here, pull it out of the inner sleeve too, because like when I go to sell it, they'll want that too. Got a little cheeky little foil staggering insight. Yeah, sorry, like these cards make me so happy. I'm looking through, you know, it's like Geist of St. Traff. Look, it's your boy. They're all my boys. Every one of these cards oh is my, my boy. Oh my God. Yeah? No, I just, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my sleeves, you're struggling there? Yeah, yeah. I'm like pulling the sword from the stone. Can we talk about how pretty this pack foil Azorius Guild Mage is? I love the foiling on the old cards, right? Yeah. Like, look at that. They just don't They just don't make cards like they used to. They literally don't. They don't print the, <laughs> the same <laughs> method anymore. <clears throat> Do you play vampires? Uh, so one of the very first Highlanders we did when we uh, when we came back after the pandemic was uh, I played Vampire Lander and I did not pilot it very well. I made red-black vampires. Uh, oh, Chrome wow. Courier. Three mana, one, one flying. When it enters the battlefield, reveal two. This is probably not playable. That, I don't know if that's a you card. I, <laughs> it's a me card. It's probably not a good me card. I, I can't see you playing that in the kind of artifact decks you like to play. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So, like, I think I should cut five mana events. Here. You disagree? Uh, I think if I think that card's just not the worst card to play and, like, Bant Blink or four color Blink. Oh, I guess if you like Blink, that's fine. Yeah. Is this, this sword yeah. Are we beyond the time of Blightning? I mean, yeah. But... Right, like these are all the staples I'm talking about. Blightning, like this Judge is familiar. Is Judge is familiar dead? We shouldn't, <clears throat> we also shouldn't focus on, like Judge is familiar and Blightning, like they're still fine. Yeah. They're not out, they're just kind of outclassed. Yeah. Jubilant Skybonder is not a card you should play in Canadian Highlander, and I feel comfortable saying that. Yeah. Oh. My pack foil Swans of Bernargle. Oh, yeah. That's oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. 
Kaka! Kaka! It's like, get it away from me. Sorry, I was trying to get it on camera. <laughs> like, are you ever playing Xerath San the Trickster? Oh, I think you played this in Ninjas again. How many Omnaths do you have, my dude? Uh, all of them. How many Omnaths are you on? Like five or six. I could probably cut this. Yeah, it's... Yeah, like, I don't need that. Um, I like three mana Dovin. I don't know if four mana Dovin's any good, though. No. Maelstrom <clears throat> Nexus. Ooh. Here's another question, right? Sphinx's Revelation. Always good. Always good? Always good. Is that a, is that a Canadian Highlander hot take right there? Not enough a... people are playing Sphinx's Rev? You're uh, gonna pull out your phone and tweet that right yeah. now? Well, I'm gonna <laughs> tweet if you cut Sphinx's Rev from your blue eye deck, you're a coward. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have three ultimatums here. Are they all good? Uh, Runus really ultimatum, Genesis ultimatum, and Emergent ultimatum. Emer uh, Emergent's good. Yeah. Ruin is probably not. Ruin is just mean. It's like, I think if you're in a position where you're casting Ruinous ultimatum, you probably already won. You just don't need it, right? Whoo! Yeah. That's, it doesn't want to go. Sphinx's revelation. I'm actually kind of attached to all these sleeves, too. Like I said, I've had... I mean, it, you know what's probably pretty funny? It's and because they're a little bit illegal thing. for tournament play is these have got to be like, yeah, you can, there's a noticeable color change on some of these sleeves because some yeah. of these sleeves are like 15 years old, right? Like, which is probably not great. It's a good thing I just only play on camera. <laughs> but it's like this? That hurts a little, you know? It's good to purge back for more. Oh, <laughs> Ikoria reanimation spell. Uh, Six mana. It is certainly six mana. Um, all right, so these have all been double sleeve removed. All right, I'm putting my cut pile sort of in the middle here. Sure. Dog. Oof. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not cut lightning. All right. That's why we get a, a second look. Were you, were you doing cuts while you are going through on your side, dude? Yeah. Okay. I just say that the art on Treasured Find is really gorgeous. Oh my god, Treasured Find, yeah. It's very handsome. What's up, Paul? Good to get wrong. I just, I kind of like the, uh, it's like, you know, cuts. These aren't cuts from the deck. These are cuts from a collection, yeah. right? So it's like, not that, it's not that this card <clears throat> isn't good in this deck. It's that this card isn't good in any deck. Or, <laughs> or isn't good in any deck that you would want to play, I guess. Uh, Alex is making noises to my uh, pack foil metamorphose. I'm just curious. Is this the treasured find, the, the art that you liked? Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Pack foil metamorphose? Yeah. 44, no, 34, 35 USD. Really? I mean. Well, now I'm curious. Maybe, mm. I don't know. That's my I, I should have talked about this sort of at the at the top of this. I've been playing Magic for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been slowly collecting cards for a long time. Uh, the value yeah. of my collection has certainly appreciated over time. Um, let's try and be chill. I don't no, know. You, you, know <laughs> you know what we should do? Mm. If we look up cards, don't say a number. Just <laughs> react. <laughs> I'll be like... Brrr. We'll have to have this conversation again uh, when, I, when we go to the binder yeah. where the spice is. Is it... What what uh, what version of uh, Metamorpho Metamorphosis? Uh, original. That's yeah, Shadowmore. Shadowmore. Does it also have the really pretty um, printing as well? Uh. Really pretty print. Well, I mean, yeah. It's or, like... Sorry, uh, pre pretty foiling of that year with yeah. the, the angly stuff, uh, right? Uh... Here, Paul, do you want to do the overhead shot real quick? Blood burrito. Oh, so this is this is also oh. what Wheeler's talking about. Ew. I don't know if you can see. Uh, let's grab a white sleeve here. I don't know if you can see how much junk is behind. It's because it's like it. That's such a dirty. <laughs> it, look at that inner sleeve. Oh. And that's what I'm saying. I haven't changed this sleeve in like 15 years, right? Yeah. So yeah, this is this is what the uh, this is what the foil looks like. That is quite that is quite pretty. Right, and they also used to do like more of a highlight. You can see the way the light hits the card when it changes, the way the foiling is there. It's like not an even thing. It's actually been added to the art. Very pretty. <clears throat> yeah, you see that. Uh, if it gets to the point where you can't, uh, where where like you can't quite read the card because of the gunk on the <laughs> sleeve. Dragon Predator still good. Yeah. I, I'm just very, I mean, I 
I love the idea of getting rid of things that you don't need. Yeah. But if you go to try and find your Trigon Predator. Yeah. You're like, where is it? Yeah. yeah. Like, I think you can say there are certain cards, like, especially utility kind of cards. Like, are you really going to miss Dovin Bond? Like, really? The format one? Not a chance. Yeah, no. exactly. Yeah. And, like, you could be like, well, what if I play this in Blue White or whatever? It's like, eh. There's a replacement for this. Yeah. For Trigon Predator, not really. Yeah, like, I don't know if I care about Gretchen Titchwillow. I play a lot of lands. Ooh, Maybe I lands on. Yeah. Just keep... This is, this is honestly... Here, Paul, if you want to go to the overhead again. This is honestly one of my favorite cards in my entire collection. This is oh, a yeah. original pack foil coiling oh. oracle from Dissension. Yeah. Mm. The way they did that with, like, the main... The actual, like main part of the image isn't foiled it's just the background yeah that was very cool stuff oh i found one we can throw out jor kadeem how dare you Whoa. <laughs> i love my jor kadeem finisher in the red white affinity deck yeah. you can there, you know what maybe we can toss it no it's fine no it's fine. you can put it in the okay I, I think i think anytime you do a purge like this of anything uh you know magic cards or or uh, other stuff. I mean, we do this. We do purges of like our props and costumes every once in a while. We are desperately in need of doing that one, doing that soon, okay. anyway. But I think you have to <clears throat> acknowledge and uh, accept the fact that sometime in the next six months you will want one of those cards <laughs> that you purged. <laughs> and but and, and it's like you have to you have to be prepared and just be like okay. But that doesn't mean that the purge was that, that 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 getting rid of these cards was a bad idea. Yeah. And just because I got rid of one that I did want to use later, it's still a net positive overall. Yeah. And and you know the the mental load and the the space that I have back Dump. is still worth it, even if I occasionally have to rebuy a card yeah. or whatever. Space is the biggest thing. Like, when you throw out crap that you don't use, mm. then all of a sudden you have room, and you're like, oh my god. Do we care about Call of the Conclave anymore? So I'm, I'm suggesting to cut these cards from my green-white. Call of the Conclave, Quatley Raptor, Calyx Destiny Hand, and a Johnny the Greathearted. I don't even know what those cards you're are. Making, I mean, you making... should probably keep Calyx. Really? Well... For what? For which format? I think it's way too slow for Highlander, and Planeswalkers are bad in Commander. Well, they're not that bad. Anymore. What? Well, they're worse in Commander. Okay. They put a giant target on you, and they only activate once in a whole turn cycle. Do, do uh. you ever see yourself playing a, an enchantment deck in Commander? I don't think they're fun. Yeah, that's fair. They yeah, are, I just don't think they're boring. fun. In, I just don't think they're fun in Commander, sure. right? Sure. Yeah. How how much, like, it's interesting, like, call the Conclave, like, how what situations like I guess there's there's combos that you would play that rather than just a you know three three for two specifically the set mechanic for right that. situations where you want uh, as many tokens as possible yeah yeah or or if you just play I want as many th uh, two mana three threes as possible watch watch deck. tribal yeah watch which tribal which, which is, is why I'm kind of thinking about keeping it but. Eh, I played Green White Watch Wolves earlier this year unsleeved. and I didn't play Conclave Tribunal. All right, uh, so all the gold cards are unsleeved. Um, have we felt pretty good about the purge? Did uh, you want to look at these piles? Let me let me look at all these. Specifically the specifically the multicolor, the three or more color pile, there's some jank in there. There's some jank in there. Yeah. You don't you don't have to be you don't have to be kind, right? You don't have to be kind. Quote from the like, the last scene of the movie The Purge. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to play this are Goblin we, Archaeomancer or whatever. Probably not. Are we happy with The Purge? Yeah, I think I think it went pretty well. We need the overhead, Paul. I, This I will not let you cut. Mogus? What this is an all-star win condition for hard stacks control. It's a one-sided... Okay. Uh, it's a one-sided, what's the three-mana enchantment that deals two damage to both players? Sulfuric Vortex. One-sided Sulfuric Vortex. In, in what... Uh, in what deck? Uh, Red Black, as well as Mardu Prison. Okay. When's the last time you played those? 2018. 2018? 2018 is probably the last time five, I played a prison so deck. So five years ago, uh, you played a prison deck. <laughs> yeah. Did you play that in that deck? Probably. Call. No way. Does this card, card not come out in 2018, 2019? No, it came out in like 2015. 
2015. Yeah, it says 2014 right on there. Absolutely, I played this. I don't know. I bet you if we went through my tapped out, you would find a list from that year that has that card in it. Are you playing this in 2023 then? I don't know. I haven't made a prison deck in a while. Okay, well, you're not playing it in 2023 then. And this card's like worth turning into good stuff. Is it? Well, probably. Unless you want to play this in Commander. It's a fun group I'll, slug commander. I'll, I'll, keep it. I'll keep, keep Mogus. It. I'll keep Mogus. Yeah. If you're, if you're happy first, with all the other cards there? Yeah. If your first reaction is, wait, I don't want to cut it, then don't cut it. Am I ever going to play Red Green Monsters? Should I keep this Garblin, uh, Goblin or Kale Mancer? What the heck is that? It's a 2 mana 2 2 Goblin with the Etch Foiling. Uh, I don't know. Are you going to play Goblins or. I probably will never play Goblins. I know that. I think but you probably get rid of I think the, the tax is pretty good. You could probably get rid of this card. Sidisi? Hmm. Yeah. I was trying to route... Sidri. Sidri, Sidri, pardon me. I was trying to route for a bunch of stuff. Well, here, let's make a, let's make a pile here for now. Sure. Wait, 3 no, 9 out of fans are no, not chatting. No, no, Hello? No, no, All right, so let's put that there. Yeah. That's it? That's it. I want to see that gruel pile, too. Oh, I actually bought Storev for Commander. Okay. You don't like Storev? No, I have a. It's it's the only brawl deck I have, so I don't actually hate it. <laughs> that's the cut pile. If you just bought it for commander, then that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are. That all... was an alternate commander for that uh, that Galista deck I had. Yes. I think what's really funny here too is the rough differences in the color combinations that I play: blue, white, white, black. Blue, red, gruel. <laughs> There's like four yes. gruel cards. Yes. Seven. One of which, yeah, one of which is Metamorphose, right? You have seven gruel cards. One of them doesn't count. <laughs> All right, uh, let's start the re-inner sleeving here. Yeah, I think Feed the biggest me. pile out of all of them is actually Boros. That's not surprising. Yeah. yeah. So much plastic packaging. Don't worry, we're going to eat it afterwards. I'm sick and tired of only having microplastics in my bloodstream. I, I want to have macroplastics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, looking at all these cards, I'm like, I want to make decks. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm like, oh man, all these really good Boros cards. I should play Boros again. <laughs> it's pretty good. Boros and taxes. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boros is finally having its day in the sun. There's a couple of really strong red cards that uh, are like great for taxing, too. Ash Zealots, mm -hmm. with everyone interacting with their graveyard currently. Harsh Mentor. Harsh Mentor. Oh, I've been, yeah. I've been yeah. away for a long time, because like, Boros was always that deck that just like never worked. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it takes the best things about mono white and mono red and makes them both worse. Yeah. Sorry, did we did we look through red white as a stack? Like, I Angel, did. Uh, Angel Fire Condition we're happy with? That's probably fine, honestly. That's probably fine. Uh, I would just like to. I just checked. Uh, at least on Friday Night Paper Fight. Okay. Uh, I have every deck list. Oh. From 2018 forward. <laughs> uh, nobody has played Mogus. <laughs> well, no. Uh, so there, there's like a certain type of deck that I, I don't that I will play at a tournament that I will not play on camera. Yeah. So at least um, on Friday Night Paper Fight, I believe Mogus has never been played. Yeah. At least in 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 a deck well, that was... Uh, start. I yeah, guess maybe it, it could have shown up in a draft or something, but in a no, in a deck no. that was registered for the card reader, it has never shown up. I think I could bring Prison on to Showdown, Showdown, but I don't think I'd bring it on a, on a Friday Night Paper Fight. Different energies. Different shows. Just like put everybody to okay, sleep. Okay, then that means that I do have another hot take that is uh, directed at you. Then. Okay. Ooh. Are you gonna tweet cut Mogus from your prison? No, I've already, <laughs> I've already I've already made it. Oh, okay. I already made the tweet. What's the tweet? Uh, it's something like stacks or prison is not only playable, uh, not only viable in Canlander, but in fact good. You just have to. Avoid playing the most boomer cards ever made. <laughs> where, and so, like, oh, don't I, yeah. play you already made this smoke one, stack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't play actual factual smoke stack. Uh, or, like, I don't know. What's another really bad Tank? card? Uh, Mistress, I think I said Mistress, Mistress Helix. Helix or something. Uba Mask. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> play those. Just play, you know, Tangle Wire. And like yeah. tabernacle, yeah, you know, like a sane person. I think, yeah, I think I said like a real, like an actual human being or something like that, you know. What a, a guy. To burn a Which, of all the archetypes in Magic, how many of them 
no longer feature the card that they were named after because that card is not good anymore. No. <laughs> oh. Like the that card, the card that they were named for has been surpassed. So, yeah, when Redneck wins so stopped playing red cards, well, it was kind of awkward. <laughs> well, well, Stax, Stax isn't it. actually directly. I mean, it no, it doesn't. Kinda is. Yeah. Named after Smokestack, but it's not exactly. No, the 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 four K solution the or whatever. Yeah, solution. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blue green Sorensen. Robin doesn't play that deck anymore. <laughs> Oh, baby, here's a card I want to brew again. Fallen Shinobi. Ooh, it's a good one. Yeah, I'm um, I'm kind of tempted to break out. I mean, I'd say I, I want to play Boros. <laughs> I want to play um, Blue Black Tempo probably at some point, too. I think there's some, like, it's it's weird. Like, like, the cards are cooler and potentially more disruptive, but they don't hit as hard as, like, Blue White. Yeah. You should play ninjas with the initiative. Oh, all right. Serge, so this is making me want to resleeve my collection. Mm -hmm. I can't help but notice you didn't cut uh, Night Vale Spectre. I got a soft spot for Mono Blue Devotion. Yeah? Yeah. It's yeah. not great, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, you'll play it. Yeah? Maybe. Shadow of Doubt, Captain. Tyrant Scorn, let's go. I, yeah, I'd like to see, uh, uh, see if Card Kingdom stats uh, notice an uptick in <laughs> sleeve purchases over the next uh, couple days. Uh, yeah. So Tyrant Scorn is an interesting one. Like this is obviously a removal spell that wouldn't see play in a three color deck, but if you're playing blue black, get on in, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're limited for, well, not limited, but if you just need like more pieces of removal and also want to be able to cast Force of Will. Yeah. For free. You need. Another box? I was just going to go through all the ones we have open, but oh. that's fine. We'll get there anyways. Yeah, that's that's sort of my thought, too. <clears throat> Thank you. How did I get a Japanese Eladramis call? Eladramis call? How do we pronounce Eladamries. that? Eladamris. Eladamris? Japanese. What did I say? The Japanese. I, I... Maybe I got it in Japan. Ooh, get you. Because I know, I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a promo foil scavenging ooze from Japan in 2013 when yeah. it came out in the in the uh, it was like 2013 core edition had scavenging ooze or 2014 or something like that. I remember you yeah. telling me about getting this and being excited for this. I vaguely and maybe I picked up an Ella Damry's call. Ella Damry's call. Ella Damry's call when I was there Japanese. too. Japanese. Yeah. Okay. You just oh, look at debtors! No. You just unlocked like a, a like a memory. Oh yeah. From like, Serge, please put debtors knell in a deck. Just do it. Yeah. I did. Oh, commander, no, I got, like, a commander. New one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flash out your academy. So record. is Serge dyslexic? No, this card I have only owned a Japanese coffee for ten years. I don't know what this card says. I, I don't think you can have dyslexia for foreign languages that you yeah. don't read. Yeah, it's like A, it's a made-up word, uh, and B, I haven't actually been able to look at how the card is written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, just if you cast this, and I think this has happened on North 100 Showdown. Actually, Let's go to like, end a turn, call. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, okay. Oh, the Teague! The Teague's here to party. Oh, it's Eradamuri no... <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, Selesnia Charm. Keep or cut? Uh, Keep it. That yeah, other one's good, isn't it? In honor of Chris Sutherland. Yeah, he uh, he messaged me. Oh hell yeah! I almost I almost cried. He messaged me while I was on stream, Aww. and he's just like well enough to send me a DM hell to say yeah. like, hey, uh, not only did he say you know thank you for the the fundraiser, yeah, uh, but he also said he's been uh, he's been watching Showdown. Yeah, yeah. Which it, I just so flattered. Yeah, he was so stoked about it. Yeah. <clears throat> That definitely, the fact that he was watching actually drove me to want to bring Blue, uh, Blue White. Oh. For, uh, oh. I was like, okay, all right. Right. we'll put a show on for him. <laughs> oh my God, you are my, you're, my, my dress you're like wearing right your now. own shirt. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, and, and the short haircut too, and the yeah, glasses. Yeah. If I just had, yeah, a little, little touch of gray right now, I'd be a oh spot on God. Maro cosplay. Dead ringer. Oh yeah. Are we done all the inner sleeves? Alex is almost. Oh, Alex is already outer sleeping. Yeah. I don't perfect. Know. Perfect. I don't let's uh, let's get on that. Ones. As a side note, uh, when players are playing uh, things, and where those of us in the tech booth are attempting to put up card things, and they just go, "I'll play call." 
Yeah. It's it's the worst. Yeah, one of the one of the big things that um, I've gotten from playing Magic primarily as a creator now is being really explicit. Even 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 Paul's even like not good enough. <laughs> Like trying to use the name of the card to be like, I cast Lightning Bolt, targeting like, Land War Elf. It like, feels three damage. I cast uh, Young Peasy, and I'm like, oh, just okay, like uh, both your dork. How many how many Zeds? In yeah, Peasy? I'm yeah, I'm still bad for nicknames. That's Peasy. probably the that's probably the one thing that I should get better at is uh, nicknames specifically because it it's weird. On the one hand, it shows a sense of intimacy with the format, right? Mm -hmm. And like that's it's personality. Well, jargon, like an in language with anything you do with any hobby, is is a good way to make you feel like like a sense of belonging, right? Kind of rules. Yeah, but on the other hand, uh, it also <laughs> excludes people, uh, especially your tech people. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the it's the. Uh, I remember doing tap tap one time and uh, revel arc. Oh That's wow! Weird. I had so much trouble trying to figure out, trying to get the Revel Art card because yeah. it is not spelt the way you would <laughs> no. think it would nope. be spelled. <laughs> but also, it's a like it's a real word. Like yeah. it's not just a sh card in Wait, magic. Is it? Uh, it's a Revia. it's 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 Revia. a it's a word for an it's like a kind of angel from oh, the Bible, from the I Bible. I did not know that. Like Nephilim. But what that means is that if you just search for it on Google. There's lots of people yep. who have also spelt it wrong. Oh my god, that's so, so funny. So I was like, I don't, I can't figure out how to spell this darn word. <laughs> Just the way it's, uh, it's the way it sounds. That's not true. Yeah, when we were doing, um, North 100 Showdown, I cast a sort of fire and ice and I called it Sophie. Yeah. Ben Ben was not pleased. <laughs> and Wheeler was trying to be helpful, really subtler. He's like, oh, so you cast Sword of Fire and Ice. Sword of Fire <laughs> and Ice. Wow. I was also not pleased, but that's just because I think swords, it was are, good. swords of X and Y are unplayable now. I, this I, guy. I like when I talked, when I was just talking about that, somebody in the chat was like, card Revel Arc and spelt it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't come up. And somebody else had to put it in and spell it correctly. Brilliant. So now, why do you think that uh, Draft of War Gear is unplayable? <sighs> so let's come to this. Okay. Yeah. Mm. No, I, 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 I just want to explain see your, your position. I just want to see your work. Okay, great. Here's why Draft of War Gear is unplayable. Decks that run equipment only need or are only able to play a certain amount of slots, right? And uh, unless they're like an all-in equipment deck, but even then, typically those decks would rather just have something that is cheaper that they can cast to then load up or get their trigger. And Magic has gotten a lot of powerful cards the past couple of years. And so if I'm playing an equipment deck that is a non-white equipment deck, I am going to want to play Shadow Spear because it provides the role of utility, pushing damage, gaining life, does all that. Umezawa's always Jite, which, well, it's GTA. It's just a stupid GTA. pile of broken garbage. Yeah. Man, uh, you should see the comments in North 100 Showdown. We're like, wow, so GTA is a good card, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah a little bit. Yeah. And then Skull Clamp, which is like, I'm behind on board and I need to draw cards. So you have three pieces through that uh, pile of I'm behind on board, I'm ahead of board, ahead on board, and board is like at parity. Um, can you start finding their homes for these? And then if you want more stuff, you can get into Lion Sash. Uh, the other, the other point Sash, is yeah. that, or point number two, is that there are more disenchants running around nowadays than ever. Uh, we have three Kasali Prime Mages, meaning that any kind of disenchant ability is going to just, well, kill whatever is equipped, like whatever's carrying the war gear. Uh, that's pretty bad. Like, if I play like Teferi Time Raveler and bounce your war gear, that feels pretty bad. If I yeah. blow up your creature with that, that feels really bad. Um, and it's not just those, right? You have Prismari Command, you have, I mean, Jund is better than ever, so you have Bulgun, more Colgan's Commands running around, all that jazz. Uh, equipment nowadays, it is more important to have a cheaper equipment in the mana cost than having, and, and like, 
it is better to actually pay less up front and then more for equipping as the because the game as the game goes on you are naturally going to have access to more oh, resources meaning that you don't mind so if you're paying the front two. load of the mana cost and the equip for free is actually a downside you'd rather one yes. than two or whatever just yep. sequencing yeah uh <clears throat> is it doesn't work with urza saga or uh, simic is it that's a big that's thing awesome. mm. um mr wheeler yeah. I'm going to let you do your your magic. Please order all of these gold cards in the way that you would like to see it in my collection. And I, that is the, the order I will put them in my box. You know... Oh, I no, think, no, we need gaps in the colors. So I like, think, I was just doing like this. Oh, yeah, so pass me the first one. White, blue. All right, and now pass me like three of the white sleeves, Alex. Oh, it's Alex, it's just, it, it doesn't have to be exactly three or whatever. Yeah. Next. Blue, black. All right, Orzov, blue, black, a little a couple of these, nice. Black, red. Oh god, you can see how dirty these are, too. <laughs> I was gonna say we should probably get rid of the white sleeves Oops. and use pink sleeves as the dividers. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. okay. Now we have actually these ones. Oh, good job, Alex. What? Oh, they were like resting, bundled within plastic, so they didn't touch right, yeah. anything. Here, look, grab all those white sleeves and just toss them, and pass me like a small amount of uh, pink. And then this way, you get to keep using the pink in some shape or way, shape, You know or what? Form. I appreciate that. There you go. Um, I got more on Grafted War Gear if you want. I can keep going. Black, no, red. I think I... It's... Black, I'm... red. Blue, white. Blue, black. Black, blue, red. White, bla blue, or sorry. White, blue. Blue, black. Black, red. Red, green. Green, white. Okay. So red, green, and then... I, I don't green, know. Green, white. I, I feel like saying GTA is better... Isn't like a like does that apply to basically every every equipment? Well, for Canadian Highlander, just play the good ones. Is, yeah, is is the idea. But it's All like right. if you don't play What's an equipment because GTA is White better, one. you never play equipment. Well, you don't GTA play is better other, than everything. You don't play other equipment. But you just well, play GTA, next. right? Uh, that's white black, so black green. Here's a question. Okay. Where does um? We need more. We need more pink sleeves. Figure into this conversation. Uh, I think bone splitter is a very specific type of artifact that you. A very specific type of equipment that you play only if you need more, more cheap please. artifacts or more cheap equipment. All right, next. Um, that what do we just? I just give you blue. You just green. gave me blue green. Uh, or green. I give you green blue, then blue red. Okay. And then more. some more. Okay. And red white. Yep. And, and then. Multi. I don't have a shadow spear. I should get one. Oh, higher. shadow spear is really good. So good. It's it's actually interesting how much Shadow Spear has kind of warped everything, especially with uh, Urza Saga oh, and the yeah. ability to get any one and zero cost and just put them directly into play. It's like actually absurd. My favorite play, one of my favorite play patterns to do nowadays is just if I get Urza Saga, make Karnstruck, make Karnstruck, find Shadow Spear, equip the Shadow Spear to the first Karnstruck, hit with like a six six lifelink trample. Okay. It's, yeah, it's wild. Okay. We have gotten a, a significant milestone done here. Okay. Great. I know what I was going to say, that it was very wise of us to do the most complicated column first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as sort of our warm-up. Uh, should we take a break and then do lands? Yes. Sure. You want to do that? Maybe. Well, I mean, we're right at exactly one Yeah, hour. yeah, yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do, friends. We're going to take a short, uh, company-mandated <laughs> three-minute commercial break. And when we come back, uh, more chit-chat, so don't go anywhere. Hello, and welcome back to Operation Re, Double Sleeve Surge's entire Magic Collection. We're done all of the gold cards, and now introducing, uh, with some exception, um, almost every single non-basic land in my collection. That's a lot. And I would assume, as the premier Magic player... <laughs> the, the premier Fort lands pilot, thank you. As the Paul? premier lands pilot. Paul? I would assume oh. that that is quite a large number of land cards. Yeah, so if we see cards that we think we, we cut, like flagstones we probably keep, Dakmore Salvage... Well, you have to, it stays around after you blow it up. <laughs> uh, Dakmore Salvage I'm keeping just specifically for swans. So here's another example. Oh my god. This is an inner sleeve from my flagstones, which I think has been in this sleeve literally since, uh, since Time Spiral came out. Christ. It's time again. Yeah, there's our fairy conclave. I do like that card quite a bit right now. Yeah, uh, Forsaken City. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove a land from your hand. What? Actually, I don't even know what this Wheeler, card does. Stasis. If you like oh, yeah. fairy oh, conclave, that's why. how do you like Blink Moth Nexus? Uh, fairy conclave can cast Ancestor Recall. True. And Oko. Faceless Haven. That one's good. 
Is it? That card's real good. Oh, okay. Faithless Slave and Slaps. It's it's like Immutable. Your face is Immutable. I'm sorry. That, Wait, well, Zarin Estate gets cut? I don't even want <clears> to <throat> vampires. Wow! All right. Whoa! Is that a... That's a... Is that a... Oh, I thought it was a foil. No. Uh, Cabal Pit we could probably cut now, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Right? Right? <sighs> Similar, like, here's another card that, like, man, this is an old school Canlander card. Sadness. Gemstone Mind. Oh, yeah. We still playing Gemstone Mind gamers? If you're playing Storm. I've never played Storm. Are you planning on storming out? Man, playing... this, is, this, this is probably the inner sleeve beating me up. Like, that foil's actually kind of chewed up now, eh? And that's because the sleeve looks like this, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, there you go. That's there unfortunate. I already had him. What's it look like? So this is, I don't know if you can see, but the quality, you can start oh, to see yeah, some of the nicks it. on it there, and that's because this sleeve is just so dirty. Especially in the top corner over here. Yeah, got, like right there, it's got a scuff in the art. Is Ghost Quarter still happening? Yeah. Okay. Barbarian you... Ring, you can you can fry from my cold dead hands. I have the whole cycle. I've got Cephalid Coliseum here as well. There's no way you have the whole cycle. Go on, what's the whole cycle? What am I missing? Do you have uh, Nomad? Maybe. Uh, well, hold on. We have Cabal Pit right here. Yeah. Barbarian Ring, Cephalid Coliseum. Um, we'll see. You're missing. Um, if the perfect the perfect fit is inside another sleeve, how is stuff getting inside the perfect fit? You don't want to know. So like dust, so dirt, dust, all that, very small. Uh, and if you're holding a card, you'll notice that the sleeve isn't completely sealed. I feel like I'm being more of a dick than I need to be, but but it gets all the way down and then turn and then goes all the way back up again. It all the... you just need to get it in the first sleeve, and then when you put it into another sleeve, it'll start to accumulate, and it doesn't have to be a lot, just a very yeah. tiny amount. I think Petrified Field probably goes too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That, that one sucks. It sucks. It hurts, but I like. I don't think it's playable. We've got seven crucibles now. Why do we need petrified field? Because it's so cool. It's from Odyssey. All right, West Westfield Abbey. We can keep. You can start unsleeving and cutting things as we go. Radiant Fountain. I always joke that I'm going to make an infinite combo with this. I'm just going to cut it. Similarly, Sun Scorched Desert. Right. Like you're looking at these fast bond loops. You know. Now, here's a surge card if ever I saw one. Riftstone Portal. Oh, that one we're keeping. Riftstone oh, Portal? Oh, yeah. Like, some of these I just point out because they rule. <laughs> I got all the colored lands. All oh, of, you poor they thing. They don't do anything cool. I mean, there's an interesting question at, like, what point those, uh, those cycles of lands we start cutting, you know? Uh, I mean, I haven't come across a port town, so I think you're okay. <laughs> Desert Temple, Yo, we what up, Tech Academy Edge. best friend. We, we can cut Tech Edge. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Tech Edge. Yeah, Tech Edge is We're... gone. Dust Bowl we will never cut. No. God, no. <laughs> Desert Temple we keep. Uh, Core Haven. Now, that's an old one. d and still playing Core Haven? Do you? No. But do you ever Control? play? If you play in, I'm playing like Blue White. It's good in Commander. Yeah? Yeah, I just like in Commander. Uh, more You'll regret that. getting rid of that if you play a Friday Night Paper Fight with me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bounce Lands. They're still good in Commander. You can remove the inner sleeves. Yeah, that's fair. I think I've got one of each. Seagate Wreckage? Seagate Wreckage. Uh, classic from... The Game Watch. <sighs> Is that the one that draws a card if your hand's empty? Yes. I... Yeah, I think we can ditch that. Got it. Oh wait, I don't have, apparently I don't have all the bounce lands. I have exactly four of the bounce lands. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh my god. So here we go. Here's my weird old collection of like some of the pain lands. I've got an Ice Age, I've got like a White Border 9th disgusting. edition side by side. Oh my god. Was that a 5th edition oh. Underground River? Uh, like, what year? 97. 90, 97. It's 10th yeah, edition like... Sulphur Spring. <laughs> They're all over the place. Consolidate, consolidate your lands, folks. It, you'll feel so much better. And hey, I got, not... look, I got two 10th edition. My my, my Kaplutthin Forest is also 10th edition. There, it's, the it's... land oh, wasn't even double-sleeved. Look, look at the sleeve! This is the last time I played this card. It's not even double-sleeved, and it's it's in one of the like only other non-pink sleeves in the... Wait, oh, there we go. Apparently, I played at the same time I played this 9th edition Lanoir Waste. You're on yeah, I can't think of the last time you've played 
I typically don't play these pain lines. Yeah. Like ever. And it's kind of weird that they've suddenly become good again. Oh, they're so good. It's because everything's more proactive. Uh, it's so weird. <clears throat> Mobilized district? We could probably oh. cut that, yeah. That's another it's another creature land, but I think it's I think it's it's the one that animates cheaper based on the number of like legendary whatevers you have. Yeah. I'm shocked that this is not an OG Muta Vault. I don't know where it went. I it's not even necessarily OG. I had a um I had the it was like a GP exclusive one or something like that. Oh, oh pain. And I have no idea where it went. I don't Deep know if I lent hurting. it to somebody or what happened. But Why like, we unsleeve something and it's like behind a card? Did you lend it to someone at that GP? Because there was a G there was a GP uh, in Vancouver um, nice. when that was in standard. There's a Grand Prix promo version of Muta Vault right there. Yeah. I'm very yeah, sad. I, I have no idea where it went. That the Red Black World Wake uh, Critter Land oh, is no good. Yeah, it's so bad. That's like, how would you make that good? First strike? Uh, yeah. So the way these lands were organized, I had all of the lands that produced more than two colors at the very front. Then it went into just like different cycles, fast lands, buddy lands, tap lands, cycle lands, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then into creature lands, and then into utility lands that produced mana, into utility lands that produced colorless mana, uh, <laughs> then artifact lands. Uh, it, it, it just like it just basically like a, a pattern of stuff like that, yeah. you know? All right, so you're done on your side, Alex? Yes. Okay. That's I'm going to start. That, that's an interesting, yeah. interesting. Um, uh, sorting uh, question is like, do you put the lands that produce the same mana together or do you put the cycles together? Yeah, because I played them by cycle, not necessarily by color. All right, if you're done your cuts, uh, we can start putting everything in new sleeves. Oh, you want to see the stack? Yeah, we can reorganize these later. Gotta review everything. Oh, yep. yeah, here. I'm sure this is fine. Power Depot. Yeah, we'll start trying to put these in um, by type now. You're making noises, Wheeler. What's on your mind? Oh, uh, just some of these are funny. <laughs> Such as? Which one did I chuckle at? Oh, I chuckled at Westvale Abbey. Yeah. Just like. Really? Well, it's just, I used to kill people with that yep. card. Yep. And now. I mean, uh, the treetop village is in that stack. I used to kill people that card too, and I'm wondering if I cut it. You know, no, that, that's no, on treetop tree village. villages. Uh, way on. If you look at my hot take number thirty-four. Oh. You're not playing enough creature lands. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that Monkey one. Monkey House is uncuttable. It's so good. All right, so here's all the fast lands. It has trample. Uh, poor Ormondal, the profane prince. Right. My shoving finger is hurting, so I'm yeah. gonna start sleeping. You don't want me this anymore. Stuff me double sleep. Oh sure. Guess I can just do this with a different finger. Move on to the next finger. That's disturbing. This your boy Mystic Gate. I kind of hope at some point um, there's a Modern Masters reprint cycle that does all of the cycle lands like Horizon Canopy. Yeah. Like everyone? Like give us allied color or you just want new copies? Just of... new copies. You know, I just love the I love the uh, Future Sight border, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a cool and good border. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't have every single permutation of every land because... Some what? of them you don't need to play, but. Nobody really needs Rugged Prairie, you know? Yeah, like, what would you play that in? Yeah, like, not every color combination wants the filter land, right? I don't think I would want right? to play it in aggro. Here. And I don't think I would want to play it in control. Here. I don't, I, I don't, uh, maybe I won't worry as much about, like, how these get sorted. I could do that myself later. I'll just focus on getting them sleeved, you know? Seems like a problem for future surge. I like the difference between uh, a regular prairie and a rugged prairie. Is there's like a rock in the middle of this one? It's like we could move that rock. <laughs> like it's not that big. No, it's a character-defining feature, Paul. Please. God, it, oh, but it'd be so heavy. 
It's like, how tall does the, the, the obstruction have to be to generate red mana? <laughs> At least three feet. Man, Nimbus Maze is just a very cool-looking card. Yeah, Nimbus Maze, another one of those weird, like, we still play Nimbus Maze? I'd like to see the Nimbus Maze filled. I don't think I'm playing Nimbus Maze. There's Nimbus Maze, and there's the blue-black one. It was a really weird River cycle. River of Tears. Yeah, real weird couple of, uh, of ringers. I would also like to see the blue-white River of Tears. Right. Whoa. Sorry, check out this alternate Rugged Prairie art. Oh, from the Zendikar Expeditions. How is that a prairie? It's like <laughs> sideways? Yeah. Well, if that's a Zendikar prairie, please. This is the perspective of someone who has been just knocked on their ass. Yeah. Is this is somebody as they fall off a rugged prairie like, and they look at the bottom of it and being like, no! They, oh, it produces just, double piss! They've just clipped through the bottom of the prairie. Jesus. Yeah, it, maybe that's like a puddle that we're looking like we're looking at a reflection of the sky and a puddle in the prairie and we're like on our side puddle prairie <laughs> welcome to puddle prairie so how often do you recommend changing your sleeves wheeler uh i keep a stack of, well, first, I don't double sleeve my entire collection. Interesting. Really? I, just keep every, I keep everything in single sleeve, and then I will double sleeve. Like, I have my sleeves for my deck. And I play them until I think they're gross, and then I move them out. But hmm. you like you keep everything in perfect fits, and then everything's in perfect fits. Oh, that's when you don't have it sleeved. I was going to say, because I thought, like, the bare minimum, you want to have everything oh, yeah, sleeved, yeah. right? I don't have, like, a workshop just floating around yeah. in a cardboard box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, use perfect fits on everything, and then I have my like this is my Canlander deck sleeves, and these are my uh, Commander deck sleeves. And then I, if I need to play them, I take out the cards I need, I sleeve them up, and bring them back, unsleeve them, put them away. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, because I mean, if it's like we have our sleeves here at the office, uh, when you need to play your Commander, you uh, Commander deck, you unsleeve, sleeve it up find out you only have 99 sleeves mm -hmm. because something happened and you lost one of the sleeves get angry buy another pack of 100 sleeves so you can get the one sleeve you need well that that was <laughs> honestly paul that is the reason why i um i pre-sleeved everything mm. was because i wanted to cut down the amount of time it takes me because i'm a i'm a brewer you know you want to pass me some more uh some more sleeves and as a brewer um having to like get a hundred sleeves for deck every time I made it was a big pain point to me when it came to Deep like turn turn around before playing in events. Yeah. So I was like, oh I know, I'll just I'll just sleeve everything first and then my life will be easier. There is one issue, I mean you probably won't run into it with these, but like there are inevitably going to be certain cards that get uh played more yep. than others and I don't want to get caught on like a Marked card. <laughs> that, that, that's right. totally fair. Yeah. Like, I think if I'm going to a comp event, I'm re-sleeving the whole yes. thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. do you think, like, actually, as you, I mean, as you're going through these cards, yeah. are cards that you play more often getting uh, dirtier, or is it the opposite that that <laughs> cards just... you play more often get sort of rubbed? It could be both. I mean, yeah. unfortunately, it looks like some of these cards I've played a lot over the years on that inner sleeve are actually pretty worn, which is. Um, like the edges are good, but the face is just a little faded. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. It's just very small amount of shifting of the stuff that just rubs it. Yeah, it's different types of wear, you know. But like this treetop village, I I can't even imagine how many dozens, if not hundreds, of games I played with it. And like, look at that, Paul. Like, so the the condition of that card's actually quite good. There's a little bit of a nick just along the edge. Like, and the back's quite good, but like, I, so many decks this card's been into. Yeah. Like, so many, so many, so many, and it looks fine. Yet, another card is just like, eh. If you haven't touched it for years, you know? All right, I think, honestly, um, because we're not being as much of a stickler for order, which I honestly think is fine, uh, that this is going much faster. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, the, yeah, ordering gold cards is always a pain in the butt anyway. Well, like I said, like I had my lands ordered previously too. And that seems like <laughs> you can figure. If that you out. don't, 
If you don't like the added time by having individual Highlander sleeves you have to do, then don't bother going through and, like, organizing, like, creating sub-organizations. Really? I don't, well, just... I mean... Because I like it because when I'm, like... I want to know, so in my artifacts, for example, I have rocks separate from non-rocks. Because if I know I'm looking for a rock, I don't want to go through every single artifact I have. Yeah. Okay. What's your definition of a rock? If it taps to produce mana. Okay. Is Lotus Petal a rock? Yes. Whoa. It is an, it is an artifact that produces mana. But it's an egg. What about Lion's Eye Diamond? That would be a rock too. Okay, Lion's Eye Diamond doesn't tap to produce mana. Oh. Get this man out of here. Get this man out of here. Oh, he got me. All Wait, right, I, as, as agreed, here's my collection, sir. No. All right. It's, I mean, it's it's one of those, and you know, it's that case where anytime you try to categorize things, you immediately find things that don't fit into the categories properly. Yeah. All right, here's the here's the frustrating one. Uh, we got more cards to kind of organize. I've got two entire decks here. What? Red and red blue. Just throwing us a curveball. Yep. Tuck Tuck the Returned. You said you weren't going to play goblins. What? Why do I have a Tuck Tuck? Oh, it's it's because it's the backside of an emblem. All right. Good. Oh, just uh, just a random box here. Let's just ignore that. Well, I mean, you just drew attention to it, so. <laughs> just ignore it. Oh, you're ordering it first? Yeah, that's fair. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Color. Uh, land. Oops. She wants a riff. Um, yeah, masterpieces can just go into artifacts. Oh, yeah, you have a dollar amount divide, too. Right? Like, no, it's, not... it's not. It's not necessarily a dollar amount divide. It's kind of a dollar. Eh. It's con. It's complicated. It's Jake like if a card is something that I play a lot, a lot, a lot, and is high value. So it's like it's not just a dollar amount divide. It's it's like why uh, you know it's like in 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 Minecraft for example for example. Or in, uh, say, Tarkov or whatever. You spend a lot of time organizing. You know, you make little boxes <laughs> yeah. for things and organize stuff, right? right. And, but in, in the digital world, Blue. it's so much nice. You know, you can make infinite boxes, Yarded. and the boxes are all, you know, everything's... Um, basics. Everything is nice sizes and... Basics. Uh, you know, you can't... It can't... Never... Nothing can ever is be it? as perfect as you can make it in the digital world. That's all blue. Go start there. And so, oh, blue, blue, blue. in the physical world, the organization always has to uh, has to fall, always falls down somewhere. Mm. You do your best, though. All right, I'm gonna do all of the lands first, um, and then. Cryptic. Oh man, how do I want to do this? All right, so like some of these lands, for example, mm -hmm. um, Fabled Passage would go in my always play box. Okay. <clears throat> right. So, like, I don't want to make it too tough. But yeah, let's. Uh, Alex is just going to solo blue. Uh, pass me all the non basic lands, and then you can you get started on, on artifact or something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but yeah. Uh, yeah. There's blue. Because, yeah, that's also, I mean, dividing things up by category and things is all great, but dividing things up by how you personally use it. I know, I know, I know, I know. Way, I know. In some yeah. ways, it's the more useful. Like, these are the cards yeah. that I play a lot. These yeah. Are... All right, we're starting to get to the spicy cards. Here you go, chat. We'll flash the workshop. Yeah. We'll flash the workshop. Oh, 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 oh. So this is a card that I actually got off another community member. This was already pretty well played at the time. Um, and this is talking about prices. I think it was 220 Canadian is what I got this for. To put a, a timeline in it. Yeah, Inventor's Fair goes into the like high play to pile as well. Actual factual stifle. Yeah. I've seen this one for a while. Okay, so um, if we could get a novel written about this. Ah, gush! I like how grimy that gush is. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, that's one of those ones that's been in a sleeve for ten thousand years and uh, has seen a lot of play. Ah, you know? at last, after ten thousand shovels, I'm free. It looks like it has gills from here. <laughs> it, the, the, it's a here fish card. Right? It's a fish card. Yes, we'll keep brainstorm. A good donk and verbal. Good donk and verbal. It's also one of those cards that really sucks for the card reader. It's like lowest contrast. Oh. 
apologies for playing all the gush. I see my superiority has caused some controversy. <laughs> it has come to my attention. Mm. Uh, we probably don't need Moxon. <laughs> Get all those masterpieces you out while you're at it, you know? Oh, yeah, look at this. See? Is that? Oh, my God. That's sorry. That's on a masterpiece. Show that. This is. That is the inner sleeve that was on a Crucible World's masterpiece. That's uh, all right. I feel bad so about that's that. Damage that can happen. That, I mean, that can add to. Is it worn at all? We can take a can take a look at that. You uh, you evaluate cards. How are we looking? Mm, mm. There's some markings on the edges on the back, but those yep. could just be from play. But it looks as though the borders are a little scuffed. Mm. But not, you're never not, you, yeah. you're never getting rid of this So card. like my my collection is for play. That is like, that's the whole thing. The reason I have these cards is not so they can sit in a box and so I can, they, they can appreciate the value. I, I own cards so I can play cards. Yeah. <laughs> Worthless, except, I'll buy it. Controversial. I know. Except, oh. except for that, uh, <laughs> except for that artist proof hover mirror. Except that, for that, that one, yeah, the artist proof hover mirror. Well, that was that, a gift. That's just yeah. for Surge. Yeah, that's for daddy. All right, here we go. Oh no, Paul! Paul! <laughs> oh. This is the first dual land we're unsleeving, <laughs> and uh, God, see, look at that dirt. <laughs> I can't believe how dirty that is. I'm telling you, change your sleeves. Folks, That's so that. much on that inner sleeve there. Here you go. Here's a New Year's it's... resolution for folks at home. Just get new sleeves. Go to your the, uh, right. Right. Can uh, can we do Volcanic it? Islands? Put out a lot of soot. So. <laughs> Can we do this stream Actually, again with my collection? Oh, yes, <laughs> like, but we're doing it with Cameron's so, collection. Look at the collection of it. Look at the, the condition of that Vulk, though. That is that is a good Vulk. The edges are clean. He knocks it out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, what is this, a magic card? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good Vulk. That's yeah, a good Vulk. Like, looking at the, the, the dirty... Inter you remember that scene from uh, was it My Cousin Vinny? Where he's like going through, he's like has pictures of like how dirty the guy's window is, and like all the stuff that that was that was like between him and this eyewitness account that he made. He's like, "You're saying that looking through this dirty window, through this tree, through this other thing, that you know exactly that you saw these guys." Hmm. It's like, how dirty does the sleeve have to be before you're actually? It's like, wait, is this actually the card I thought it was? Is this a foil? I can't tell. Is this oh. a foil? I can't tell. Yeah, there's a lot of these. A lot of these inventions. Have... Really? Yeah. There's really dirty. Well, really dirty sleeves, and then like, kind of dirty. Look, you're lucky that Actually, these are like dark black. Orcs. I'm also shocked at how low contrast. I didn't realize it before. Like, it almost looks like. Um, here, Paul. We'll go to the top there. Like the inside of this, the outside of this card is stunning, but the inside, if you look at it at an angle, it yeah. looks so flat. Oh. Mm. oh yeah, there we go, the winter orb. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Come I don't on. think that winter that winter orb has not been de unsleeved or resleeved uh, since it went in its first sleeve. It's in... been hibernating <laughs> all winter. Look it. Yeah. That bear, that bear is is hungry for a new sleeve, mm -hmm. and you know. Oh, mana crit, sundering titan. If if you have clear inner sleeves and they start to go yellow, that is a good indication oh. that you've had them oh, sleeve yeah. for Grimy too long. Grimy ass mana again. crit too. <laughs> Grimy ass mana crit has been called. Wow. You shouldn't drive if your windows are this dirty. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, someone needs to, yeah, write, writes, uh, wash me, yeah, in the sleep. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, collect magic cards really, but I did get a box of Magic Twenty Eleven mm -hmm. or something, as part of a promotional deal we did one time. There was like a wizard sent us a bunch of stuff. So I've, I've got like Magic 2011 and the like Soren versus Tybalt, is it? Oh no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dual deck. Uh, so uh, you can unsleeve stuff. Yeah, I bet, those are, pretty, I bet stuff. those are pretty nasty at this point too. Yeah. 
If we ever want to do like a weekend long uh, charity version of this stream, mm. where it's just going nonstop, we could do my collection. Oh. oh, how many physical cards do you have? That scares uh, me. I have nine four column long, like four column boxes. Nine. Okay. All stacked, oh, I'm not done. All fully stacked, and then two two column, so effectively 10 four column boxes of stuff that I use. Yeah. Uh, pretty more black slate, Those four column boxes are what, 5,000? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, well, I almost have one four column box, and that is my entire collection. Oh, God, the dream. One four column box. Yeah, my, my collection was those two long boxes, mm -hmm. and a binder, and a couple of the short ones. The dream. Yeah, I, I. It, it's a, an agreement I have with Joe, is my collection can only occupy so much physical space in the apartment. Mm -hmm. And if it spills out of that corner, then it's time to downsize. See, that was my, that was kind of like the uh, idea with Kiefer and I, but then uh, we moved to a place where I have my own office. Oh no. And then it's just, it's taken over. I can quit whenever I want. Mm. Oh boy. It's all goblin tokens. It's all goblin tokens. How close am I to a complete collection? I can give you an exact number, Molly Palooza. A complete collection of what? Every magic. individual single of magic? Nah. Yeah, I wonder. So I don't have a digital archive of my collection. Me what neither. It's worth. I kind of wanted to do that. Like, just scan them all. It's probably yeah. doable. Like, I don't have that many cards. I've been, I've been getting closer with Moxfield because it lets you register a collection, which Ooh. is kind of big. Um, so at the very least, at the very least, it's getting me the ability to, um... That is appealing. Although, I, I do kind of like using the, um... 28. Scanning. 28 what? Cards. Short? I, outside of Brothers War. I don't have Brothers War yet. Well, okay. okay, hang on but a 28 second. 28 short. You're, you have every single other card in Magic shy of 28. Yeah, do you want to know the ones I don't have? Yes. Okay. Uh, Dragon. So the cards below ten dollars uh, USD because I have the spreadsheet organized like this. Yeah. Koskin Falls, Mog Infestation, Talus Warrior, and Teferi's Isle. Also, if you're at, if you hear this at home, feel free to send them on <laughs> in. the Loading Ready Run uh, PO box. You can find it on the wiki. Uh, don't bother looking at my page, but you can find it on the wiki there. Uh, make make sure uh, you 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 put two wheeler otherwise we'll like open it for mail time and be like i cool i guess here's original a magic card. printing original printing only uh <clears throat> dolman gate empress galena goblin bomb martin stromgald nut collector savage beating temporal extortion triumph of the hordes and wheel and deal hmm. uh and then the above 25 dollars deflecting swat imps mischief kindred dominance piracy and then the one that stings the most, because I owned this, Sliver Queen. Oh! I can't find my copy of Sliver Queen anywhere. That is devastating. Yep. That one stings. Is... Unsets don't count. They're not real. <laughs> mm. Is there... Are, you're at the point where, like, you want to own those cards just so you have a complete set. Like, clearly you don't actually want to play those cards, because... Oh, you I have... do. I just hate spending money, but I do want to play them eventually. But I, you know, there's I'm sure there's many cards in that giant set that you have that you uh, have never played time and to never, start. And never will play. Any sleevey? Um, yeah, those are the ones where it's like, look, these aren't exactly like Surge actually got four of them. I don't exactly. I'm not rushing out to play Fracturing Gust anytime soon. <sighs> right, you know? right. But. Um, I do need them, and they're hard to find. They're often cards without many reprints that are kind of like niche. Some of them have spiked for reasons not related to their playability. Um, so, I mean, as you're going through Surge's collection, you're going to be like, oh, Sliver Queen, uh, nobody, this is crap, throw it away. Yeah. Defle oh, hey, by the way, I'm going to take this card. Deflecting Swat's another one where I, I bought that commander deck. 
don't order my coffee one. Mm. So, yeah. I used to have, this is kind of shitty, but back in the day, I used to have this idea of, uh, I called it the Vendillion Click Tax. Okay. Where it was like, on average, once every four months, I lose approximately one Vendillion Click worth of cards just from lending to people, yeah. building so many yeah. decks. He just made me like snort out of my nose for a second there when I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I yeah. Know. And so now that, that I, I had enough of it. And because um, I thought I lost, I mean, I did lose dual lands. Um, they were actually stolen, but did, did a whole different issue. Um, but after that, I was like, that's it. Everything's getting recorded. Everything's getting audited and logged. I'm sick and tired of this. And now I just get anxious about the fact that I don't own a Dolman Gate. So right. you, you logged your entire collection? Everything, yeah. Wow. How did how long did that take? <sighs> Probably about 30 hours. Oh, so, that's, not, that's not bad, actually. Like, it was a, did you use like a card scanner thing or just typing it in? Uh, typing it in. <laughs> wow. And then, well, actually more than that, because I did a big audit and then I was like, there's no way I got everything, everything, but I'll do another like sweep next year. Or whatever, because event you know, new cards will come in. So does, yeah, I was gonna say, does this mean you have all the legends cards, including the new ones they keep printing? Because every time I look at that set, there's a new card I've never seen in my whole life. I do have a complete set of legends. That's messed up. Some of those are hard to track down. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, Faithful Saluting is one of my binder cards. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. So it's, it's like. If it's a card that'll get in almost every deck I play in that color, man, that, that is a beat up Faithless Looting. The foils look worse because of those sleeves. Yeah. It's very upsetting. It's fine. This is another very pretty card. Ah, back to basics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful art. Monkey. Insuring cards is basically impossible if you are playing with them. Uh, somebody asked it in chat, but I can't find them. Uh, right, because a lot most of them well, if you insure something we valuable, you have to sort of prove that you are keeping it in its You have to condition. track where, yeah, the condition, how it's being kept, what, like... So like, if you had, like, a Black Lotus, like, in a uh, sealed, like, Lucite box, then yeah. sure. But if you're actually trying to use cards... Yeah. Like, safety deposit box, that's a big one. Like, mm -hmm. I don't have all the... If somebody's going to rob me, don't bother. I don't keep the fancy stuff at home. Like it's, it's worth the like fifty dollars a year, to just have the like actual ones in a safety deposit box hmm, right. in a and bank. I never <laughs> thought about that. Yeah, and I mean people, we've seen a few times on on streams you playing with proxies of cards. Cause, <laughs> yeah, cause... Sir, I just imagine like the guys knock over the bank and they're like pulling the drawers out and there's like cash and jewels and it's like. What the hell cards. is this? Yeah. Yeah. And, they're, they're, and they just, they're like, okay, okay, throw away all the diamonds, throw away all the yeah. diamonds. They we get, need space for this collection. They just get so caught up, like, reminiscing over cards. <laughs> they get just like, like, I, I, the I had this when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen this Oh, Sulkinar, I want that. No, I got it. Where did my life go so wrong? <laughs> okay. I'll trade you Sulkinar for the Sheevan uh -huh. Dragon. Uh -huh. It was you. You stole my... There's... One of my favorite episodes of, uh, was it um, Storage Wars back in the day? You know, the show where they break open storage lockers? Oh, yeah. God. There's one episode where they, like, open up the locker, what? and there's... Yes. Fresh. Yeah. And the first thing they see is, like, a sword. And they're like, oh, cool. You know, and they talk about, like, how swords can have, you know, different uh, swords can have value and different things. And then they find, like, some other weapons, and they're like, oh, that's cool. And then they find like some comic books <laughs> and then they're like, and they, they find, uh, I don't know if it's, I think it is some magic cards, <clears throat> a bunch of, uh, some magic cards are collectible. And they're like, Oh, this is one of them nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd storage locker. I like, I just want to call attention to Alex right now. Just went mox, 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 masterpiece, masterpiece, masterpiece over there. <laughs> Oh, Staff of Nerd. And just Staff of Nerd. All right, welcome okay. to my collection. Wait, the, uh, the moxes aren't in the binder? Well, the, the remember, these were decks. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, these were these were decks I had just oh, recently played. So they shouldn't be, do you put them in the sleeves and then put them in the binder? 
Uh, yes, sleeve everything. Okay, okay. Double sleeve everything. Okay. Except for those basic Bad ones. Whose cards spell? are these? Well, they were originally Surges, but he's graciously donating them to Alex and I. Oh. We get to split them. Alex has agreed to take the white cards, and I get the artifacts, lands, and <laughs> Wait uh, a second. blue cards. Well, at least I can't moat. <laughs> Hey, wait, I want that moat. <laughs> You'll nice have moat. to cross it it's first. Nice moat. I feel like Victoria players have been trading around the same... I mean, your moat has been uh, your moat for a while. Yeah. But there's like two copies of moat that just float around the Victoria community. Amazing. That have gone between like... You can like, Do you have to moat this week? Oh, no, I, I got it in my other deck. Yeah. So um, there's a Library of Alexandria mm -hmm. that I got for Nick P. Mm-hmm. Which was really funny because I was in Calgary and I was at one of the LGSs there, and he's like, "They got a library, at, like, and it's super beat up, just like lowest quality. I just want one of those." And I was like, "All right," and I, and I see one, and it's like you joke about an old card that's been rubbed into oh, asphalt, yeah. and this one, it is chewed up. Yeah, hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. Did you ever see um, Chisler's um, like ripped in? Or wait, was it? Chisler or the ripped in half Nelson foil Lotus the, Cobra? No, not not Lotus Cobra. It was um a duel. The Vulcan. oh yeah, Vulcan. Um, so that one, it got it was given to Chris, but it was originally DPs, <laughs> I think. DPs or Connors. I did have one. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots, the yeah. both of them. <laughs> My God. All right. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I, I do love though that, like, you know, uh, uh, you know what happens when somebody plays uh, a the most incredibly beat up, you know, Library of Alexandria. Ugh. Exact same thing. It happens when you play a mint condition Library. Yeah, you know, like it doesn't matter. I love, I love destroyed magic cards. Not only are they they're cheaper, you don't feel as bad about being. You know, sometimes you're shuffling like. What am I doing? <laughs> like, why am I shuffling these cards? I should just sell these. I should buy a house. You know that kind of thing. Um, the, the, that thought goes through my head every now and then when I when I look at like. Hey, thankfully we live in Victoria. Where can you wouldn't even be able to afford yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, you're on, you're on that stack there. Eh? All but right. like, yeah, it's just they also just kind of have a story to them. Mm. You know. I mean, as long as it's at a point where it's like not. It, you can play it without it looking like a marked card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have had a couple of community members um, cash out to get, like... Jeremy White? Down payments on the... Mm. Uh... Jeremy White sold his collection, bought a house. Dang. Yeah. Mm. That's that... pretty wild. I mean, he didn't buy a house in Victoria, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so, like, here, binder cards. Shadow Spear, Mox, Mox, Mox. Okay. <laughs> My kind of turn hey, one. Stone, <laughs> Stone Cold Serpent is not a binder card. Shouldn't shouldn't those mocks go in the uh, the rocks section of the... Oh, uh, no. oh. uh, now I'm just realizing, you actually asked me, do I count mocks in as mana rocks or not? And I said, uh, both. Or something like that. Now it's giving me a whole different context to your sorting system. Do we need all of these? No. Uh, we need maybe 30. All right. Oh my god, look at the color on these sleeves. Oh, there, there's actually... <laughs> Paul was joking about a yellowish tinge. There's actually a yellowish tinge. I'm actually kind of revolted. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's it's a volume thing. Yeah. Uh, so these are binder cards. <laughs> uh, which means there's quite a few cards missing from the binder. All right, uh, this is... Ignore what's written on the side. This is white... Green, black. Hey, white, green, black. There's just no lands huh. in there. Okay. Uh, uh, what black, color please. White. All right. <laughs> uh, so the basic lands can just be single sleeved, and we'll cut those aside. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. With just like we we can replace all these two with yeah. the pink ones after. Uh, green is me, and these these will need to be downsized. These are the ones that we can go through, and if there's cards that you think uh, we can pitch, we can pitch. Okay. Um, oh, actually, it might be neat as well for just stacks. So there you go. There's all the white this cards. This offends me. The white bordered anime dead? Get out. You have an, uh, 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 an uncanny hatred. I do. For white bordered cards. They, they look like poop soup. Wait, are these dirty inner sleeves? Like that? 
Those are dirty. Yeah, yes. They're all dirty. I put clean ones on top of them. Dirty, oh. dirty, dirty. Did I re-sleeve some dirty ones? No, it's wah, impossible. Wah. And you want me to keep all the angels, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, oh my god! <laughs> oh, so this, sorry, this one we have to show on camera. This was a gift from Nelly, where uh, he didn't, he was missing a, what was the one, three for two in blue? One in a blue, when it comes into play, look at three cards. Augur bolus. He didn't have an Augur bolus, so I gave him a pack foil one that I'd open in a draft. And he's like, that's so sweet. Here, let me give you this Beseech the Queen, and he <laughs> signed it. Because it was my birthday. I gave him the card on my birthday. And so he said, Hizzle, Bizzle, Drizzle, Sizzle, Yizzle. Signed Nelly with a heart. Mm. So, like, that's a that's a tough sleeve to want to re-sleeve, right? Like, that's got a story on it. Oh, he didn't write it on the card. He wrote it on the sleeve. He wrote it on the oh, sleeve. Oh, then we don't re-sleeve yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we don't re-sleeve that one, yeah. Are you are you purging and then re-sleeving? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't the know. The great thing is you can put that sleeve on any card and pretend that Nelson gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this Mishra's workshop Nelson gave me. Oh my God. Here are the vampires. Yeah, like you're taking a, a trip through a magic history here, eh? It's a trip through something. The, problem, yeah. the, the trick with the white border cards is, you know, sometimes the white border shirts, you know, can get start looking kind of dirty or whatever. But the black border is They just getting, get more black. It, no, but the black border is still getting dirty. You just can't see it. Well, uh, ironically, the black borders, when they get dirty, they get chipped and you can see white through the black. So it's like the same problem, different side. You have two mirror entities. There you go. There's a card we can get rid of. <clears throat> there are very few situations where I'll have duplicates of cards. Wait. Are you sure there's two mirror entities? Maybe it's just, <laughs> maybe it's just one. Ah. I'm seeing double. Oh. Oh, there's a there's another card that doesn't feel good to resleeve. This is my foil, uh, pack foil Sylvan Scrying with uh, that that dirty sleeve again. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can see where the light hits it just right. Yeah, that was a s no bueno. <laughs> Same with the scape shift. Oh no, my scape <laughs> shift, <laughs> Paul. Uh, we need to get like the next time we do this. We need like a like light a, underneath it or a picture. Oh, there, there we go. There oh, it is. There it is. Oh no! Oh, my escape shift. Oh, it deserved no. better. Jesus. Well, do you just like a white piece of paper or something? Uh, I put it on top of a white sleeve, and it didn't quite show. Wouldn't wouldn't like a pitch black sleeve? Maybe. Maybe or not pitch black, but like <clears throat> a gray background. Uh oh, Fauna Shaman too. Well, that's not as bad. Not no, good. that's cleaner. Not great. Vacuum seal. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is my purge list on white. Oh, oh, th those are the cards we're purging. Yeah. Uh, Grateful apparition. <laughs> yeah, Starfield of Nyx. Fair. I'll say one of the duplicate. Oh, hidden dragon slayer. Yeah, midnight hunt. Goodbye. My, my foil Maros! This was my anti-goblin tech. Marrow shards. Oh, my duplicate Wait, suppression oh, field. So we're Mark keeping Rose the Italian? Water shards? Yeah. Mark, Rose. Mark Rosewater shards. That's fine. You don't need the stony silence. Like, you can just throw this <laughs> out. It's not even good. It doesn't do uh -huh. anything. Uh-huh. Do you know that stony silence? I was a head judge at a tournament to give away a piece of power. And stony silence caused a player to get enough GRVs that I gave them the game three game loss Ooh. and they lost a piece of power Ooh. for it. Oh, yeah, they're playing they're playing D and T. Which oh you gotta recall you gotta know that. Yeah, they're playing D and T and they tapped an artifact land with us in play. This was wasn't like, me, right? Who no, was this? <laughs> I don't know. It was uh, two it was like wasn't members of the community. Mm. It was at a big convention I was judging. Yeah, I was head judge for a final game giving away a piece of power legacy tournament. Oh. Yeah. You gotta know that. They were exhausted. Yeah. Right? Like this was this was like eight hours, super high stakes tournament. They're just totally wiped. And they made I think they made three GRVs in like five turns in game three. Okay. Just back to back to back. And then finally I was just like That sucks. Yeah, I was finally I was just like 
This is your this is your third GRV. I'm escalating to a game loss. Uh, games rule violation. So in a competitive event, if you make a rules violation, you get a warning and there's a fix or something like that. Um, and then if you get three of the same uh, rules violation in a tournament, you don't like my white hypnotic specter? Don't even talk to me. <laughs> like, come on, man. I mean, white are you, are you for real? Well, here, you can turn, you can use, if you trade in some of these cards, you can turn them into good looking versions <laughs> of, I don't know, I, whiteboard, I've grown, uh, whiteboarders have grown on me over the years. This is better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the old school reprinting of a new card or whatever. Okay, for a second, I thought this was a pile of Cabal uh, <laughs> coffers. Oh, no. Yeah. It is some I Tempest need to, Swamps. This is an issue I'm running into. I have the Tempest Swamps because I couldn't find enough of the particular printing I like. Like, that's a Card Kingdom order I need to do. Is just like, hey, I need, I need 80 copies of the same land, please, mm -hmm. right? And then I never need to think about it again. But, like, it's, that's the sort of thing that... Would you like to audit this? My trigger finger is itching. Oh, it's jamming. Oh, oh no. Yeah, years of magic cards have ruined me. Yeah, wool D sleeve, uh, you purge. Drain life. I, do we? Do you need drain life? I don't. In 2020? I don't. I don't. I don't. Exactly. But like, yo, there was a time where the mono black challenge was a thing, and you're making, you're making a lot of mana, and you didn't have a lot of, you didn't have a lot of life. Life was a resource, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you know, you've got to drive it, it all night long. Yeah. We both went for the same yep. bit of bait. Ooh. Uh, I set aside those three cards. 80 regular cards swamps or 80 snow covered swamps? Both. Ruinous field? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, right? Like, these are these old cards that, when that set came out, you specced into Ruinous Path. You're like, these might be really good. Yeah, I mean, there was a while where Sultai Control played every version of these because yeah. you just need to kill Oak. All the Awakens, right? Yeah. You just. Ethereal oh. oh. Two bottomless pits. All right, this is going to feel bad too, Paul. Could we please? This is my beta oh boy. wild growth. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's supposed to be a clear sleeve. Disgusting. Yeah. It's okay. Beta cards aren't ones you want to keep in reasonable. No, no. It's only beta. It's only beta. What could it cost, Michael? Five dollars? Yeah, for like a basic. I got an oo from Wheeler. Mm. At least I got the, the, the Wheeler oo of approval. I just like looking through magic cards. I know. It's pretty good. Why do I have so many yucky sleeves? Because I was under the impression that if you sleeve a card once, the inner sleeves, your card is safe. And as long as you get rid of or clean the exterior sleeve, your card is fine. You are wrong. So I have cards that I have literally sleeved over a decade ago, because I've been playing for a long time, and uh, yeah, and uh, we are we are learning. Let this be a cautionary tale. I, I like the idea that's been brought up for laminating <laughs> yeah. cards, or or just uh, vacuum sealing them in some other way. That's kind of hot. That'll, get that'll, it? that'll that'll keep them safe. Lamination is kind of hot. I don't get it. What do you mean? What do you mean by it's that? It's a thermal process. No, 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 hold on. Let him answer for his own crimes. What do you mean by oh, that? Oh, here's here's a fun here's a fun <laughs> card as well. Ball. Well, this is my foil doubling season. The doubler. Uh, oh, that's that's pretty bad too. That card's not worth much. Don't worry. It, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. Wait, what? No, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Oh, you don't need this. I just what? think we've got a couple of like. <laughs> Get, ah, nice try. Not today, Satan. <laughs> my oof. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here's actually a very pretty card. Uh, this is a Kendall original. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I got a lot of my old favorite Enchantress cards altered. Oh, she didn't alter up it upside down. <laughs> Come on. Huh. Yeah, so that's a um, um, Veridin Enchantress, one of the ones there. Very pretty. It's a, like an art expansion. Yep, yeah, this is a hand-painted uh, full art uh, borderless altar. Lingering swirls. They pass the test. Oh exactly. yeah, yes. acidic slime. I mean here, peep this. I, I feel like we're not necessarily being strict enough with these cards. You cut like what eight? Yeah, I don't know. They, they, I trust Wheeler to be good and strict. I don't know. They're like it's when your qualifications are a format where literally everything can be played, 
and then a format where all the garbage is playable. Like, you end up just reaching this thing of, like, you're probably not playing Sylvan Advocate. Yeah, like, like, I remember playing Nissa Vastwood's here, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's great. Well, oh, she's not really? great, but she's this reasonable. guy not? Yeah. Well, this is just a two-mana two-three with Vigilance. And then if you get six lands, it becomes a four-five. So Minsk and Boo is two red and a green. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, like, um, a lot of my five drops in green you might cut as well. Because, like, you know, do you still play... Carnage Titan, you know. Yeah. Oh, Car I think Carney T is actually underplayed. A, I think there's a renaissance of Carney T. Runic Armasaur. Yeah, that one didn't. Uh, no. Oh, can that. get cut. Yeah, that one can. There you go. See, this is what I mean. Like we get, we could be, we cut more here. Beast Whisperer, we keep. Summoner's Pack, we keep. Summoner's Pack, we keep. Yeah, Summoner but watch me. this. Here, is one it? second. Where's the Jaddy offshoot? <laughs> No! Yeah, exactly. Don't touch my offshoot! See? See? I'll, I'll kill you! <laughs> I mean, That's Serge, isn't this a testament to Excuse to me. your uh, your good card collection? I've been trying. Knowledge. Like, I've been trying to purge it for a long time. You know, yeah. like I I do try and keep it lean. Yeah, cut the bad cards. Except, don't touch my Jotty offshoot or my Grazing Glade Heart. Or I'll cut you. <laughs> I'll like... cut you. You're never playing Skylasher or Great Sable Stag. You know what's funny? I actually got those cards to beat you when you were on Jeskai. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, cut those. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you also... know me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same card. Yeah. It's all the same thing. Yep. I mean, that's an interesting like. Uh... You know, cards that were bought specifically to counter somebody else's deck oh, that, yeah. they, that look, they don't play anymore. Look, everybody, everybody's everybody gotten in a Cold War with their friend before, right? It, it might be a Magic, it might be 40k, it might be it might be something else. Where you're just like... Everybody gets tilted enough to build the land destruction deck. Right, yeah. Your friend beats you one more time with their artifact deck and you're like, I'm going to buy every disenchant, every different printing to disenchant, yeah. and I'll show them. <clears throat> How does your deck win? It doesn't. But I get my vengeance. That's the... Oh, no. And then they switch up to what? just an RTW. What, are, what are you... Oh. Uh, actually... My Worldly Tutor? Yeah, Worldly Tutor. Do we count Worldly Tutor? Well, no. No, no, no. This was clingy, but I think it's this sleeve, mm. not, not the ender sleeve. Um, yeah, you're talking about uh, old school Canlander in a nutshell, like weekly events. Just like, well, Josh Lane won with Grixis again. Time to time to yeah. Guess I'm bringing Thrun. Oh God, Goblins keeps winning. Sleeve every pyroclasm you own. Yeah, yeah. It's like the 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 ultra local meta. Yeah, it's kind of like that still, but now it's more just like. I can't believe so and so won with this deck. That's so how. That's bad. I'm mad. I'm teching exactly for them, and then they lose to somebody playing red. All right. Uh, all right. What can I? What can I do to make your life better? I mean, God, like buy him a know. house, sweep my floors. Um, I don't know. I'll take Wait, these. Gnarled colonies kept in here. What the heck is Gnarled? Well, it's a two mana. Uh, yeah, we can cut that. Uh, okay, fine. We can probably also cut Balaged Recovery. No, that one's good. Is it? Okay, uh, same with the Tangled Florohedron. Yes, Laura that one's Hedron? fine. That one's okay. Are you ever going to play Dinosaurs? I'm, I kind of, I am tempted for one, um, one North 100 Showdown to bring uh, Green and Monsters. Okay. But like, are not you, necessarily Dino those specifically, no. Not Ooh, Dino okay, Tribal. Because then we can cut oh, these three. Oh, gosh. It's... Brontosaur isn't good anymore. Well, we can maybe the yeah. this one's whatever, but we can cut so, territorial. Uh, it's a florahedron, a, like a tetrahedron, but with. It's a fake. <laughs> oh, there's a proxy in there. How did a proxy make it back in? That's kind of funny. Know. I probably did that for a filming day. Oh, my channel. That's a pretty channel. Is it? I mean, you don't think that's a pretty channel? I, it's pretty. I don't. Uh, well, what is that? This is from uh, fourth. Like Ninety-five, then? so fourth or fifth. I like. I, I do like that the that original art for channel. Like the guys already. <laughs> he's like, oh no! Yeah. He's like the guys like, clearly has been using channel for a while before mm. he was pictured on the card. <laughs> I could probably cut a Dungrove. Like yeah, Dungrove he's... Elder Troll aesthetic. We can cut these. Can we? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to play them. Yeah. 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 Sadly. Nightpack Ambush, or I can see myself playing. <laughs> when, I, when I'm talking, JB, when I'm talking stacks, I mean like Palcatraz. Like Palcatraz? That. Yeah, it's Super Friends. With prison. prison. Super Friends. Oh, yeah. so wow. It's yeah. A, it's, I think it's one of the best names of any deck in our format. It's just so clean. What um, colors do you... I mean, that's the trick. You can do it whatever everything. you want. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Any configuration. That deck's really good. And you don't need much. It's just like... Turns out, Toyarian Academy with Tangle Wire and Winter Orb's pretty good. Urza's oh, pretty oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh! We found another one? Yep. Your ethereal armor is phony! <laughs> How did these... I guess the I guess the, the proxies pass so well that... Uh, They're like copier paper proxies. Sure, but... <coughs> Maybe I saw them and assumed that it was just a really grimy sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, Wheeler, Wheeler to... fell for it too. All right, uh, so here's my plan. It's almost seven, so let's maybe Oof. try finishing de-sleeving, and we'll take another break. Sure. All right, these ones are all done, though. Oh, Enchantress's presence. Yeah. Uh, these basics have all just been unsleeved. I don't actually care about re-sleeving my basics. That's I, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need to undouble sleeve them. Is this the heartbeat I gave you? Uh, that looks like another Kendall altar. I think that is. So I gave you I gave you the Kendall altar of was it Palancron and Heartbeat because I stopped playing that deck. Oh yeah, yeah, that that actually <laughs> sounds really familiar. Uh, All right, so these have been these have been cleaned as well still. So I just need to de-sleeve these. Or by cleaned, I mean Wheeler's done. We've done the Wheeler pass. Wheeler's been purged. R.I.P. They have been broken on the wheel. Oh no. All right, so we'll go, we'll go fast on this. We'll take a short break. Uh, and then I think we'll leave the other long box and I'll, we'll break out the binder. And if we got some time after that. Sure. Sounds good. We can look at the spice and maybe talk about some of those cards. Not break uh, Wheeler's hands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my poor hand. I do this all day already. Oh, I'm going to try to switch to my left. Mm -hmm. uh, we can cut Reap and Sow. When am I ever going to play Reap and Sow? Uh, really? I mean, if you want to get rid of it, I'll take the foil. Yeah. You don't play Tolerian Academy that often. So. No, I don't. All right, great. I mean, maybe you'd play an Enchantress. Just find Sarah Sanctum. Reap if you really want to. Hi, Dolls out. I like. I just think of Reap and So as a as like more of a win condition than a flexible tutor. You know. Reap yeah, it's, it's so. definitely worse than Enchantress too. Reap So. Reap and So. <laughs> Reap and So. Reap oh, so. just leave the basics, right? Because. We don't need to. We don't need to worry about making those fancier than they is. Because the goal is the goal is to protect cards. Thrun, Basics blast. do not need protecting. Whoa. Aggressive. All right. I got... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, he's got come out. You can play Agro Loman Canlander. Oh yeah. And Vengevine can be played too. Absolutely, Vengevine, Vengevine can be played. Rules. Vengevine uh, is a beep beep threat that'll kill you. Vengevine with. Um, Fauna Shaman, or what's the enchantment version of Fauna Shaman? Survival of the fittest. Yeah, that is or a little, just like little wombo combo right there. Nothing weird. Just, just Vengevine is Vengevine, yeah. Just played him on a green. Beep, beep. Yeah, there used to be like uh, green mid-range decks that would play uh, Vengevine. Like Crypt Gas, how did that make... Oh, Commander. <laughs> Sorry. Anytime you see a really <laughs> bad card and you're just like, what? why is this here, Commander? Yeah. Wah, wah. Mm -hmm. You can play him on a green zombie in Canlander. It's just kind of a hard sell when Gruul Monsters is right there. Gruul is so, so stupidly good. Yeah. good. Like, I haven't built it in a while, and I just keep seeing these cards. It's like, this is idiotic. I think the thing about Gruul is that... Oh, you're re-sleeping. Yes. Okay. These are getting re-sleeved. Yeah, my... Nice. I, this motion I can get is good for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, the thing about Gruul is that I don't know if a player who has who started playing Magic before 2019 can build a good Gruul monsters deck. You know, because they're like, they're stuck with too many old cards. Well, it's just all they're all new cards. Your oldest card is like aside from Mana Dorks and Lightning Bolt, your oldest creature is like Tarmogoyf. Like, 
It's wild. You just play cards from uh, like printed after War of the Sparks. Hmm. Yeah. And they're all dumb. Yep. It's yep. just like, oh, let's have two mana at 4 4. It has trample and haste and also nugs your opponent whenever they look at you. Oh, man. So I had a game where I was playing Enchantress and I was basically dead on board. I had nothing to do. And I had an Omniscience in play, oh my God, a Caracas in play, and this Blind Obedience. I, I remember this. And the card I ripped off the top with Omniscience was Emrakul. But I couldn't untap to attack with it or I would die. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I bounced it to my hand with Caracas, cast it for free, Wait, how does how did that work? Anyways, uh, basically, I got to I got you to You couldn't you couldn't attack through something, but I uh, basically I cast it and bounced it enough times over and over that I actually exhorted them to death. Extorted <laughs> them to death with blind obedience off of that loop. Yeah. I, I really remember. love this card. I have no idea what it, I'm meant to play it in. Oh, the Mire Triton. Yeah, it kind of just goes nowhere. Yeah, I'm cutting Kismet by the way. I played it in Dredge. Okay. Yeah, that that's a good example of like too expensive for Canlander and just like you don't want to be not fun in Commander. Yeah. yeah, don't play it. Anymore. Similarly, I could probably cut Cleansing Nova. Yeah, too expensive for Canlander and just like okay, it's here I'm giving you points back for having this very gorgeous oh, brave. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. The OG. I'm surprised this is not a Larwin foil Shriek Moth. Oh, Isn't the, it? It's the FNAT or the that, that release is, promo. Is it? Yeah, that's the release promo from Lorwyn, and it's got the it's got that really pretty foiling that I really like. Like if you do it side to side, that's why I kept that one. Oh, interesting. I, I thought that it it had the like um, the Lorwyn logo on it, or is that a different one? Uh oh, you mean like the that's the water the, stamp or whatever? Yeah. Mm. Wait, let me see it. Yeah, is Doomscar good? Uh, I, don't I think wouldn't so. play it in Canlander. No. Yeah. The only wraths you need to keep are Terminus and Supreme Verdict. Yeah. Uh, this is just actual factual lore and foil. Yeah, that's Ooh, just, that's just Oh, factual. there we go. I think I had both at some point and I decided to keep one. I'm probably not playing cat combo. I could probably cut Felidar Guardian. Uh, I play Blink Dex. Maybe I'll keep it. Yeah. Cavalier of Dawn. Oh, I played that in a commander deck. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the problem with Commander. All of, you, all of a sudden, everything is fine. You're well, like, mm. I, I think, again, there's like a hierarchy of cards that are good for yeah. it or not, right? Just like promo foil, Twisted A-bomb rules. Dude! Oh, yeah. Twisted Abomination so is one of my cool. all-time favorites. I love that card so much. It's very good. It's warm Curd Ape is fine. You can play Curd Ape. Curd so Ape you're telling me I'm supposed to get rid of my actual factual Wrath of God? I mean, you could keep... It's a fourth it. edition Japanese. It's got, it's got butts on if it. If you're going to keep one of them, Wrath of God is the best yeah. mana one. Yeah. Do we know Damnation? Uh, I mean, Damnation is a bit different because, like, Grixis might want to play one or Saltai might want to play one. Mm. But I don't know. I just think Wraths are... Aside from Blue-White, I I don't know if I would ever want to play Wrath of God uh, style cards in Kaylander anymore. Baboon. Ooh. Hmm? Heather Hudson signed Wall of Blossoms. So that was funny. I actually got that from Ed. Yeah. There was... <laughs> That's another proxy. We This fabled hero snuck through. It's a fake. I remember that. Mm. That is from... Is that from the first... That's the first That's batch like the recording first we did. Batch of, recording uh, of Showdown. Of, yeah, Showdown. Why I brought that deck, I don't know. We're like, we're going to pitch this new show. I'm going to bring this fringe deck I've been more thinking about for ages. Oh yeah, how'd it go? Poorly. Poorly. Yeah. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> I mean, it's still fun. I, th yeah. I still think it's a sweet deck, but yeah. Oh, it was because Kamigawa just came out. It was oh, because Bro yeah. just came out and there's so many cards for that deck. Yeah. That That's probably why I decided to play it. I mean, deck's cool, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where were we before we got hilariously distracted there? You're right here, unsleeving. Um, <clears throat> Elite Duelist and Raise the Alarm, I can probably cut. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, or Keeping Mana Tithe. Oh, thank you for keeping the uh, the the pack foil mirror entity instead of the reprint we had. Yeah. Uh, Kemba Cow Region, I can probably cut. I can probably not play. Any. I I kept it for Commander. I figured if you wanted to play like equipment in Commander, Ooh, but it's not. Mono yeah, white equipment. Yeah, you don't have to. Ah, you should keep it. You're right. I mean, just yeah. it's right. free to keep. Matches of the Tabernacle oh, we're yeah, keeping. There, we go. there we're going. Oh, that's a good magic card. That's a surge card oh, right yeah. there. Remember that time you beat me in the finals with uh, uh, 
mono red, like big red splashing for Magus and Avon Mind Sensor. I had a beautiful line that I got you with. No, he did win, yeah. I had a, a, probably one of the best lines I've ever had against. You, you're you on Hoof, I was on, I was on uh, Prison. Mm -hmm. And I get into you and you're like, okay, this is really interesting because you had a really good board and then I slammed Tabernacle against your board full of creatures. And I was like, that was that felt kind of good. Yeah. Tabernacle. It's the Tabernacle. Yeah, Tool Craft Exemplar we're gonna cut because I'm never gonna play this. Yeah. It's interesting talking about, you know, cutting cards and, and or, or dropping cards uh, from your collection. Because there, there's the thing, you know, when, you, when you're talking about actually making a deck, there's the thing of, like, whether something is worth a card, right? Like, yeah. even if it's, you know, a <sighs> zero casting cost card that, say, you know, gain one life. Do we cut timely reinforcements? It's not playable, but it is nostalgic. It's so nostalgic. That card used to be an all-star. Yeah. An all-star for uh, white X control decks. Man, could a um, could a goblin deck even recover? <laughs> Three one ones and you gain what six? Yeah, I'm gonna cut stone hewer giant as well. This makes me sad. Is that the guy who gets equipment? Yeah. yeah. He's like Stoneforge Mystic, except except seven mana. Big and <laughs> slow. You know what? It's really important to uh, <laughs> to stay humble. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Where's the cut? That's the cut pile. Yeah, I'm never playing that. No. <laughs> you knew. Should I cut Mithrealize? That's a that's a card that I've always wanted to have good. I think the only never person playable. I've ever seen be good with it. I know who you're gonna say, and it's a lie. Chris Sutherland. Never mind. I didn't. That was not who <laughs> you thought you were gonna say. Kill me with this card. Yeah, but Chris can kill people with anything. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, Chris absolutely murdered me with Mithrealize one time. What about this in stack? Uh, it's just That's where I've tried it. Just, yeah, I've tried it in Enchantress too. It's just like, it just sits there forever. I don't know. Mm, the, the games where you can play it, have it get big and have it be the thing that kills them, um, you're just winning anyways. You could, you have a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and like you should instead just play like a planeswalker that if in those situations you're probably winning you're going to win off the back of that but also they can oh, yeah. do something if you're behind the here's curve. a classic all right let's see this is a card that hasn't been unsleeved since i got it core fire walk with me oh yeah oh. where's the light oh yeah that's some... yeah oh, yeah oh <laughs> there's a big like blotch yeah there is i think that's just actually just my thumbprint oh all right, uh, everything is de-sleeved on the last card there. Uh, so for everything there. So let's take our second commercial break right now. Uh, we'll come back, we'll try and turbo fit. Oh God. We'll try and turbo finish this pile. And then uh, I'll break out the binder. We'll, we'll, take out, we'll take out the real spice and have a fun time looking at some cards. All right, stick around. We'll see you in three minutes. Hello, and welcome back to the Chit Chaff. I'm Serge. We are chit chaffing my collection. Ah, <laughs> oh, Gary. Yeah, we're uh, just coming around the corner on white, green, and black. And then uh, I don't think we're gonna get it all done today, which is, I don't know how I thought we were. I don't know. It's kind of hard I to mean, estimate made how long. we pretty ridiculous yeah. progress, all things considered. Honestly, Imagine true. doing this by yourself. Oh my God, <gasps> well, this, yeah. <laughs> this is going to represent nine hours of labor. Yeah. Right, that that you know, three people, three hours, like that. <laughs> that's shocking. So like, only having one long box left to do at the end of all this is going to be wild. But yeah, well, um, Wheeler over the break was trying to talk me out of putting the cards back into my binder afterwards, which I'm a little bit sad about because like that's been sort of like one of the defining characteristics of my collection Get for a, new a while. Binder. I mean, then uh, if you want to keep the tradition up, you don't have to listen. Well, no, I mean, there's no like. It is good to listen to me. I'm usually yeah. correct, but in this no. in this spot, I mean, like, Jeremy, is that you? No, no, no. I said correct. Um, wow! 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 <laughs> 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 um, yeah, yeah. Just don't. Just put them together, because then you also run into a spot where, like, do you consider thought scour a staple? It's again. It's not. It, it depends on how frequently I put it in a deck. Right. Yeah. But like, your tastes change. 
you change. Yeah. And so like, and then I fight for the slots. I look at, you know, if I get to the blue section and it's full. Yeah. Oh, if and, it's full. And yeah, and uh, and when I take a deck apart and I go to put those cards away in, like when I'm de when I'm deconstructing a deck, I look at the cards and like these are the ones that are going to make it into binder. Okay. And then I only have so many slots in the binder, and then I cut one. I look at that and I say, you know what, three mana Jace, Jace Balaran, you know your your time has come and gone. Your slot has been taken by Spell Snare, which I'm seeing a lot of play right now, or not, you know. Okay. It, it's like that scene in like Toy Story. When like the Buzz Lightyear comes in, the new in. favorite. Yeah, and and Woody's like, oh no, I'm not the favorite anymore. Yeah, I, I've moved from the binder down, and I have to be put in the dark box now. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, I'm not married to the idea of the binder. The binder can come and go. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Just, mm. I mean, it's not even foil. It's just my one of my favorite cards of all time. Yeah. It's so pretty. It's always interesting, those cards, like, the, the fact that, um... What were you talking about before? The Swamp Cycling card. Twisted Abomination. Will Bender. Will Bender. Yeah. Is it Will Bender? No, it's Exalted. I can't believe it's Exalted oh, Angel! Holy oh moly. Yeah, like, you know, um, Twisted Abomination, one of my favorite cards of all time. Like, yeah. it's so weird that that card is what, you know, has a slot in my heart. Mm -hmm. Of all the things, you know? God, that you have a lot of angels. Yeah, like I said, I made a, I made I, I had two different attempts. Uh, actually, that's not true. Three different attempts. I tried Naya Angels in Canadian Highlander. I remember that. People roasted me because I only had like twelve angels in yeah, the deck. I remember that? Yeah, and you're like, look, it's Canadian Highlander. It's Naya featuring angels. I don't Pe know what to tell you. People roasted me when I played Blue Green Tempo that had three red cards in it. Remember? I had like Ren and Six. Yeah. And, like. Royal Scions, and you're people like, are like, uh, you mean rug tempo? <laughs> you're like, no, because the red, you know, the, the cards aren't yeah, the defining it's characteristic. Just, it's they're there because they're good. It's a splash. Light staining. Every time I see someone with like a green white deck with Death Ride Shaman, don't you mean Abzen? <laughs> Ooze flowing out of all of my orifices. That's disgusting. Blue, white, control, featuring Shadow of Doubt. I think you'll find that Tiger Maniac has a green mana in your mono red deck. Interesting. You say your deck is mono red, <laughs> and yet you have Rakdos Cackler, <laughs> figure of destiny, and it's a blue red card. Oh, man, remember when everyone was playing, what was that? Um, Ravnica card, it's like a 1-4, but you could change its power and I toughness. I know the one you're talking oh, about. Oh, Frostborn. Frostborn. Yeah. Like, when yeah, people I played Frostborn weird, right? I didn't right? cut it. <laughs> we came across it and I couldn't, I couldn't cut it. Yeah. That card was, I played that card in blue-green. Right? Oh my god. There were like three weeks in a row in like 2015, 2016 or something, the summer, where I played blue-green tempo and fought red opponents in the finals every single week. And I won every single time. And they were just flat. I was flabbergasted. They were flabbergasted. I was blue green tempo splashing white for Sphinx's revelation. Jeez. Yeah. I, like, it was. I mean, it's funny that, like, in Commander, uh, those kind of, like, arguments actually are, like, valid, right? Like, yeah. Command, like Commander's got the color identity thing. So it's like, uh, actually, you can't play that card because it has the color identity thing. Well, okay, here's the thing about color identity. Mm. That I think people would have an easier time processing color identity of like, it's not like saying that uh, your mono red deck can only play red cards. It's that your mono red deck cannot play cards of colors other than red or colorless, which is not the most, it doesn't flow as well, but that just kind of gets rid of the whole like but what of hybrid mana you know this is technically a red card i should be able to play i don't know why i'm making them sound noble but yeah but yeah that's 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 when the putting your death right shaman in the in the green white deck doesn't doesn't work well thankfully none of us here would ever have an issue with playing like a hybrid card in commander mm. yeah yeah people still talk about that all you, the time. You put Wait, one what? Kitchen Finks into a white deck. You put one Kitchen Finks in a white deck. 
I thought you weren't allowed to. Uh, I think that, it, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it happened twice. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why it's the meme, is that you did uh, it once uh-huh. and people called you out on it. And then it happened again. Yeah. <laughs> I've, what, this was like 2011. 2010 or 2011 at a Highlander night. And I get there early and I have a lands combo deck. And I was not playing Highlander or wasn't playing Commander at the time. And there's like a table of people playing Commander. And they're like, do you want to play? I'm like, I only have, I have this deck. Is that okay? And they're like, "Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. And I like check it. I'm like, oh, um, who should I make my Commander? And I I don't like have a good Commander. So they just like let me play with Maloku as this blue green Uh lands deck. And and I'm just like playing against I'm like, oh this is kind of fun. Like I can get behind this. Uh and then I just draw fast bond. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) And I like fast bond kill them and they're like, oh well that card's banned, but we'll let you have this win. I'm like, oh thank you. Yeah. So kind. I was in Seattle, I think. I can't remember. I was traveling somewhere. And I only had like blue white tempo Canadian Highlander on me. Yeah. And a commander player was just like, let's jam. And I'm like, that's not a good idea. Yeah, like this is this, this is like a tuned 1v1 deck. And they're like, no, nah, whatever, it'll be fine. Here. And okay. like Gast of St. Traft was my commander. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, cool. I'm I'm a blue white tempo deck, and I have this eight card, which is one of my best threats. Oh my god, Nelson literally built that deck for a commander knight. I think he was okay. Oh. Do, you re- do you remember this? I, I think you were know. involved. Maybe. He built blue-white control with Geist as his commander. And it just like, just dumpstered everybody. And he was just like, well, shouldn't have done this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I have made a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's okay. I remember playing commander with death and taxes as well. I'm like, Sorry, I all, I can make Brim as my commander. Is that okay? And they're like, uh, sure, that's fine. I'm like, it's Staxy, but I don't have like rule of law or whatever. And they're like, oh, it should be fine. And then I draw my opening hand. There's a Mox Pearl in it, and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is oh, illegal. Yeah. Sorry, I oh I should put that away. You're like, I'm gonna mull this hand just for no yeah, reason. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's like, hey, uh, hey, hey, do you wanna do you wanna come to our knife fight? Uh, okay. All I have is this gun. But... <laughs> mm. oh, wow. no, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, you, you can come. How, how big of a gun? <laughs> yeah, tell sure. me, tell me about your gun. Oh man, are we even gonna have time to get to the binder? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We gotta sleep fast. <laughs> oh. oh, just what I needed on this chill stream. No, Stress. no, 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 no. <laughs> like, if we don't get to it, we don't get to it. <sighs> just like flip through it quickly and just be yeah. like, did you like that? Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what you could do? Mm. You could turn a page for each sub at the end. Oh, okay. I like it. You hear that, chat? It's like we're, we are currently at 38 subs on oh. the stream. So, not one card per sub. Yeah, one card per, uh, per sub. You know, I don't hate the fact that we're doing this uh, and technically getting paid to do this, but I feel like we got Huckleberry Finn. Like, you know, like you're like, paint this fence for me. It'll be a lot of fun. It's like, okay, sure. And it's like, yeah, this is nice. This is cool. But as my finger seizes up and as I go, this is a Friday night, but, there's like ice rain and the snow. First, the first couple hours were really good. It's starting to feel a little bit more like work at this point. Like yeah. I was, I was, I was with this. And now I'm starting. Now I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. Usually I think, when I yeah. do this, I have pants. I don't have Hold pants on. on. I I just need to point out right now. We mentioned this. Oh my! And Mr. Gibberish just gifted 25 subs. We just got <laughs> so many, so many subs after I that knew moment. I was gonna happen. Uh, oh my honestly, God. y'all are amazing. Oh, that's so, so, so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank wow. you. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, technically, those will show up as one in the uh, <laughs> in, in the scroll because of the su- yeah. gifted subs. But we are getting paid for oh, it, so that so is something funny. like. Uh, the face, fence painters didn't get squat. That's today. true. That's true. Oh no, the Zumi grave robber. Not my name, Zumi grave robber. It's so good. It turns into Night Eyes, the desecrator. <laughs> I actually legit love that card. It's so yeah. I I so got fond memories. Is that card of Megrim or something? 
No, that's um, Nazumi Shortfang mm-hmm. that turns right. into Stab Whisker the Odious. <laughs> Come on, man. This, this one's two mana two. Uh, two mana two one, you can pay one in a black to exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. And if there are no cards in their graveyard, it transforms into Night Eyes the Desecrator, uh, which is a four two. Uh, with an aggregate <laughs> ability of four and a black, put a creature from a graveyard into play under your control. And it doesn't transform, deck. it flips. Yeah, the start, yeah. Rat start, words the bad adjective. Rat words the bad adjective. Oh my god. Huh. Yeah, what about Maronar? Here's no adjective needed. Ravenous chupa thingy. Alright. Mm-hmm. What if we just finish in, in, intersleeving all of these, and then like wherever we're at, we'll just, I'll just put it in the box, sure. and then we'll break out the binder. Sure. Part I, two. I kind of li- like the styling of, of, these, of these cards. It does. It annoys me though that their existence means that we can't call double face cards flip cards. I I actually kind of <laughs> wish that we didn't have double face cards. We just had more of these because like pulling a card out of a sleeve, not having the proper magic back. Yeah, it's so- from a yeah from a um, like uh, gameplay point of view. These are good, but obviously there there is you know there's a large limit on from a practical standpoint of how much. Text oh yeah. So they're kind of a, an atrocity. <laughs> like they're kind of just really awful design mm. in the sense that you can't put a lot of words on them. They look, they're very disorienting. You want to pass me some more black Like, stones? imagine you are playing Magic for the first time in your life. Oh, yeah. That's, you buy a pack what of is that? And you see this, and you're like, huh? Um, but they um, are so cool. Yeah. And on, on the, like, on a, a typical, um, like, stream overhead shot, where the gate, where the shot is sideways, <laughs> you know, it's like which side is actually active. It's like, wait, does one side work for the opponent, and the other side for the not opponent? When I was getting interviewed for the uh, for the CAG, um, I one of the things, one of the questions that was asked was also just like, you can change any rule. Like, what's the most like indulgent kind of rules change or whatever you would make for a commander? Like a positive one. And I snapped off. Let me make this my commander. Mm. Like, it's just so cool. Like, oh, the fact, okay, but he can't be a commander because only one half is legendary. Because what? the card Nazumi Grave Robber is not legendary. Right, which is how it's cast as. Correct. Uh, where there there are other flip cards where both sides are legendary and they can be played as commanders. Uh, and they're quite good, except for the one that was so good it's banned in Commander. Which one is uh, that? Uh, Arayo. Because hmm. you play it, play a bunch of spells, and then nobody can play their game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. isn't that nice? And you always have Arayo in the Command Zone. It would be interesting. Like, I wonder how it would, how much it would mess up the rules if they reprinted this guy as a double face card. Oh, like if they... If they actually, like, printed it with just Grave Robber on one side and then the... Uh, uh, Night Eyes on the other side. I'd be down to clown with that, to be honest. Like, I wonder if that would... Because, like, if, if... I guess if, if like, Transform is referenced in other cards, they would mix this up. Eh. It's fine. They gave Locks on Warhammer lifelink. They can do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, fair. Like, how's Ephemerate not in my binder? Maybe it is. Maybe I have two Ephemerates. It's new. This card's almost four years old. <laughs> I don't know why you guys do that to yourselves. That's all right. Very funny to me. Uh, pass me all the black cards, please. Uh, and actually, while sleep. we're doing this, just put these stacks here. Um, Wheeler, mm. you want to do the honors of... Let's pull all the cards out of the binder. We'll, we'll make that the last stack. The last stack here. All right. Uh, maybe, Paul, if you want to go to the overhead. I wouldn't worry too much about sleeping all those. I can just put these away for now, Ox. All right, so here's, this is what I call all of my most playable cards. That, that are also valuable, I guess. Well, again, it, it, it's not necessarily a dollar amount is the criteria there. Can you pass me just a bunch of pink sleeves? Out of curiosity, why, did, why the switch from uh, pink to black? Uh, it was hard to find pink. Uh, uh, black just stays clean longer. Good looking dual ends. All right, so that was Rav Duels. The next page, we have oh, all of the right. Duels Duels. Yeah, I mean, Alex, if you want to get started on those and just, like, de-sleeve, that's fine, too. 
Tossing uh, Badlands. Yeah, as one does. I mean, Ben Ulmer rolled over my volcanic island with his uh, oh, little chair. Oh, so. yeah. Didn't you Didn't you leave, like, a time walk under the couch <laughs> again? Yeah. yeah. You I, just, like, lost your time walk, I and I was like... I okay. lost the beta time walk uh, at the moon base. Where are we? It was under the couch. It was under the couch. There was like it. five cards That's under the couch, up. and one of them, which was was the time vault. I almost threw out an ancestral recall once. <laughs> it was just on my desk, and it's A, so it was alpha, you know in alphabetical order. It was on the top of the list. Sure. I just knocked it off. We got some cool cards here. Yeah, like I said, like it's oh yeah yeah. Here comes the interesting ones, right? Mm. I'm gonna save this one for later. Cause okay. Well, not for later, but there's three in here that I really like. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually know that you had one of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really? It's a fun card. Once you get what you... it's, And we'll show you in a second. It's a bizarre oh. bag, Dad. Uh oh Okay, all right. Well, oh. Alex, oh, sorry. <laughs> he was slow rolling. Gosh. Yeah, we got the bazaar. We've got the uh, tabernacle. And we've got the library. It's one of those cards where you're just like, I'm not going to, if I get this, am I going to use it? Like, well, I, I, know, I don't need it. And then you build a deck with it. Yeah. And you're, you're like, like oh, oh my god. I'll never, never, I'll <laughs> never not play this again. It's just so cool. I like that, that Arabian Nights has been, uh, ir or sort of have, has been like retconned to be not, you know, the real world. How about, wait, wait, wait. Leave not that the actual the Arabian first. Nights. It's like some Dominaria plane that's basically like, you know, yeah. the Arabian Nights. Uh, so these are actual real power, as opposed to the other three, which I have Fake as collectors. Uh, collectors edition, so yeah. What What are the MPs mean? Uh, uh, that was the collection of the card. Impact? Like, when mm -hmm. I talk about not ever wanting to take the card out <laughs> of the inner sleeve, when I bought that card, it was graded MP. And that's the sleeve it came when I bought it. Are we changing that? Yeah, yeah. let's let's resleeve them all, right? Like if the whole goal here is to go through and resleeve the collection. You got two pods. I got two pods. Uh, what do you what do you like better, the judge foil or the pack foil? Pack foil. Pack foil. Pack foil just looks so good. Yeah, it really does. One point. Well, you pushed uh, you pushed that off the oh, camera. Oh, gazoon tight. Yitte. Yeah, so I can yep. put I can put away the cards that we're probably going to sell because we're probably not cutting anything else here. So what are we at now? There we go. Here's all the white cards that I play all the time. Oh, that's a pretty moat. Yeah, isn't that a pretty moat? It's a very pretty moat. So this one's actually interesting. This moat I bought, and I bought that as an altar. And the reason for that is if you look at the back of it, this card is in really, really, really bad condition. Mm -hmm. So they actually altered it to make it pretty because it was so beat up. Nice. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Phyrexian Elish Norn, the land tax. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is a card. I got this for $2. Whoa. This foil Porphyry Nodes. It's pretty good. I think Porphyry Nodes, and you have Drop a Honey too, right? Yep. Yeah, I think Porphyry Nodes and Drop a Honey are like, I'm pretty sure there's a Bant control deck that just plays both, especially nowadays, because just like people, everybody's on like Mana Dork into three drop, and you just drop one of those. And... Oh. All right, let me grab the white stack here. Eureka. Yeah! Like, that's a card that could probably not, I mean, it could probably come out of there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how often do you play Eureka? I don't, but, like, every time I think of cutting it, I look at it, and I'm just like, oh my god. It's they're really cool. They're a genius. Look, E equals MC square. Hypergenesis. It's not as bad as it sounds, especially with Counterspells being less popular. It's, it's not a bad deck. It looks like a bad deck. <laughs> I really want them to make a, I want to make, Get them to make a token of Marit Lage, uh, as produced by the Thespian State. Like a, <laughs> that would be a really good. Thing. It's just somebody in a Marit Lage costume. All yeah, right. yeah. Oh, it's, let's just, go. It's, it's just like a really impressive puppet. It's it's yeah. It's such an impressive puppet that it it legitimately kills people. <laughs> uh, so this is another one of probably the highlights of my collection. This is a Beta Fast Bond, which was a treat I got to myself. I think at my first ever. Uh, 
uh, GP Vegas, Magic you Fest had, Vegas, whatever. I, I distinctly remember you coming over to me to talk about it and show me, and you had like a child that just got an N64 like for yeah, Christmas. Yeah. You were just so. Yeah. So that would have been 2018, 2019, or something like that. Can't remember what the first uh, the first Vegas I went to was. I mean, they were cheaper when then, yeah. Too. Yeah. I think they might be coming down after uh, the official Watsy proxies that they printed. Mm -hmm. Kappa. Laying out a tireless provisioner next to a beta fast bond. Yeah. Behold. I, that, that's what I said. Like, it's not necessarily, like, I like the cards that didn't even make the camera. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I like them. They're good cards. Oh, I remember you picking up this. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This uh, is, this was another, like, when I was on my prison kick yeah. and I was just like, I can't be counter spells. I know. How many people in chat, how many people in chat know in the eye of chaos? How many of you remember that card? It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's so How many of you have ever seen that magic card before? This is what I mean about legends. Yeah. Yeah, there's the palancron. Yeah, the full art altar palancron. That, okay. Did I... I'm trying to remember what spell effect it was that I blind named palancron. <laughs> Um, I that, think you you did it to somebody with the the the, the one where you uh, they you name a card and they discard it. Cabal it. therapy. You, care, you yeah. blind so cabal therapy. Blind turn cabal one. therapy. Yeah. Somebody it was like palancron, and he gave me this look, and turned his hand over, and I was like, oh my god, I'm a real wizard. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's pest threads. <laughs> huh? From Elden Ring. Oh. oh, Elden Ring. I like the blue cards that Wheeler deems unworthy. Well, not unworthy. It's just there yeah, are like certain a... cards that are cooler to show off. Yeah. Like this is cool. Yeah. And it's unplayed. Well, not unplayed. <laughs> I, I played it recently, but you know. Yeah, cute. like some of these, like the fact oh, they still have Tamio. I love that you have. That's cute. That's cute that you have to. In a not not being condescending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely, yeah. like I feel you, man. I feel you. God, I miss when this card was playable. Oh, it's one of my favorite playing blockers of all time. It's just so she, cool. She, she, she's, she's okay. She's okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe she'll get better. What do you mean? Oh, just yeah, in the latest set, a thing happened. She got <laughs> completed for some reason. We... Real jerk move. Yeah. What? What's that uh, Japanese card there? Uh, Sorry, which card? Oh, there was which a color? Chinese time spiral. This? That's yeah. a, yeah, Chinese time spiral. Which is the same as a regular time spiral, except... Yeah. It's down. it's good that you have a card that's really straightforward like this that you have. Yeah, actually, that's funny. I have the Chinese time spiral and an English? Oh, sorry, that's the abyss. Uh, no, you missed the other one. Where's the chains? That, you have the chains. If you're chains looking for... of Mephisto. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's a card in, in the correct language that still you don't know what it's doing. Oh, my God. I went to a legacy event and a judge was making a joke about uh, chains and I pulled out an English one. He's like, wait, this is, I've never actually seen an English chains before. And I was like, yeah. It's not great. It's also, <laughs> it gets mean. It's not that difficult. No, no. To, once you know how it yeah, works, yeah. Here. It's weird. Like this is the, uh, this version is uh, a newer one. The original one, it's got the little font, but it's also just like they didn't use a bunch of the space on the card. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, it was like supposed to be oh, more text, and wow. then they ran out of space. And then they like, were like, oh, actually, we don't need to put that part in. This is the card I am most jealous oh, of really? in your collection. My Hulk yeah. is the Lorwyn Pack Foil Thought Seize, oh, eh? It's just so pretty. Yeah, it's a very just, beautiful like, a card. card that I can never justify. Yeah like picking up or like even trading into. It's just, yeah. Puts up double master <laughs> Oh, you want the Laurel one. Uh, I mean, it's, it's the a, exact it's same a... thing. It's just very fun. I mean, oh yeah. Yeah, it's a spicy one. It's a spicy meatball. Oh, white, white boarded sinkhole. Hmm, curious. I think it's very difficult to get a black boarded sinkhole. They are not that expensive because they got reprinted in uh, ma a master set. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I mean, the new, the new uh, dollars. 
Junji Ito thought sees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excited to get that. The red section's a little sad. <laughs> the red God. section's a little sad. What the heck is this? What? Oh, that is a natural order. Jeez. That is the Japanese altar from... Uh, what was the one about the school? The wizard school? Strixhaven Mystical Archive. Yeah, Strixhaven Mystical Archive. Here, that's that one right there. Is what Alex is talking about for natural order. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a little like planeswalker <laughs> section that's very cute I here. I do like that you have a Johnny Vengeance. Everybody loves a Johnny Vengeance. Card rules. It's so cool. Her mm. whips ass. It's it's just so. God. Oh, you didn't talk about the uh, the pack foil for Xen Obliterator. I'm still sad from the conversation we had before the stream. <laughs> that's why I didn't show the Necropotence either. Uh. <laughs> Goose. You weren't jealous of my my pack my my uh, foil innocent blood there. I'm, well, it's a very pretty card. I'm not so jealous because I have a German, German version of it. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I appreciate that you've got the kitchen sphinx there, ready to go in any deck. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Hey, look, everybody. Oh, we'll go back to overhead. It's five brutally broken <laughs> magic cards. Yeah, together at last. These don't seem to cost enough mana. Why is everybody booing? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the new Gatewatch. Why are you booing? You can play I'm all these ready. cards in the same deck. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Remember when this card was like the most upsetting oh my God. card to play against in Magic? You're like, how do I beat this? It's it's unbeatable. If they I, went <laughs> they went elf elf into Leovold and I couldn't catch up. <laughs> if I kill it, they draw a card and they can Caracas it, and I can't Caracas it. It's too good. Oh, your baby! Yeah, the Maelstrom Wanderer. Big Daddy. Serge very kindly got me a. Was it a foil or was it a normal? No, now I forget. It was a it was foil, foil yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the foil Maelstrom Wanderer. Um, I forget why. I, I think I just saw it and I thought of you and I grabbed it. It was very kind. Oh, because of Cascade stacks. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. you're killing people yeah, with it. Yeah, because I was why. killing people with yeah, this I mean, color Cascade Yeah, stacks. I didn't get it for no reason. I got yes. it because, you know, it was good. And I was like, Wheeler probably wants a... Murder. Speaking of murder. Read Kip. Right? Like, this binder's all over the place. Yeah, you can't but... You can't just say it, you know. Well, on one hand, I'm really happy about the trip down memory lane yeah. of, like... Fulminator Mage. Yeah. Not a card we see very often, but was really annoying if the like the red deck or the black X deck had it. Karanos, the number one card that's unplayable, yet everybody tries to play it still in Canlander. Oh my god. Or right. Janus. People used to natural order into yep. this card. Yep. Yep. Wow. Um and just not anymore. Or Nahiri. The Har oh, Nahiri the Harbinger. I had Dix uh at a PAX event. Yeah. Ultimate that into Emrakul. This one? Yeah. yeah. This, I, used to, I used to play this card in Jeskai. Okay. And for a while, I mean, Dix was on that same Jeskai list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I ended up cutting the Infer or the, the Emrakul for Inferno Titan, which I could cast. But like for a while, I was like, yeah, it's just one Emrakul. I need it anyways against Painter Servant decks, which were also popular at the time. Oh, there's the Emrakul. Yeah. yeah. Our mother. The uh, spaghetti monster. Oh, here we'll, we'll we'll put that one aside, and then uh, you know grab the last couple of Eldrazi on that. I have like an Eldrazi page for some weird reason, which is the one you're looking at right there. Where's your Ulamog? Uh, I don't actually think I own an Ulamog. Uh oh. <laughs> Classic blunder. That's why it that betrays is there instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think I own any of the new cycle of uh, Eldrazi friends either. The Kozilek's good. Yep. But I don't know if you'd play... I'm surprised you don't play the other Emrakul. The new Emrakul. That's what I'm saying. I just don't yeah. own it, right? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, this is what you're talking about, too, with, like, some of the OGs in this community having all the duels, but they don't have, like, some of the newer threats. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, Mox, 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 duel into Proxy Doko. I've got bad news if you think that Emrakul's new. Are you ready for... What year? Uh, 2016, I believe. Oh, because so it's six years old. Uh, yeah, going oh, on seven. Okay, that's fine. That's All right, hit, that, hit those last couple pages. Yeah, well, we need you, to, think, you think yeah. we're going to be seeing uh, 
Phyrexia versus Eldrazi as like a thing. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Paul, if you want to go back to the overhead, this is this is probably like the flex page. The rest is, you know, stuff that we're playing, but like this is the... This is the... You are you are you are all, all in on the Kel, on the Kaladesh. There uh, are very few cards that I have gone out of my way to collect, uh, but this is this is like the one thing that, regardless of playability, I have I have collected not all of them, but a fair amount of them. Which ones are you missing? Well, there's not ones that I'm missing, but like I have a pack foil Aether Vial, so I'm not going to get the the invention right, one for it, right? Right. right. Oh, that's and, like, a, that's such a good subtle flex you just did right there. <laughs> wow, what an impressive flex. Uh, I don't need it. Um, actually, I have a pack that, that might actually that and the Thoughtseize. The pack fresh Aether Vial is is really hot. I think you traded so, that. I me. did. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got that from you. We went to a, a legacy tournament. Oh, there's one more. There's one more page. Oh, I'm waiting for oh, okay. the, so the dramatic you, reveal. So you 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 didn't uh, collect all of the um, Are you the Amonkhet, uh, the uh, uh, Egyptian style. Uh, no, special. the Amonkhet one wasn't there. Honestly, the one that I thought I'd like more, but I didn't care about, was actually the um, expeditions, the land yeah, cycle. The, lands. Mm. the land cycles never did it for me. The full art lands, but I, as soon as I saw. Um, these borders and these foils, I actually fell in love. I just like absolutely is like these are the most beautiful magic cards I've ever seen. I have to have them. Wow. And they were not as expensive when they first came out. Like these were probably thirty to eighty dollars each. I think I spent like seventy five, eighty dollars for the Sol Ring mm -hmm. at the time. I mean, and I, apparently it's like a thousand dollars now or something. Jesus. I mean that that Sol Ring I think is the is the invention that shows up the most in different decks mm. like the invention Sol Ring. Mm. Very very fancy. Ornithog. Yeah right. How much is the so? I have no idea. If I were if if you were to say come across the invention Aether Vial. Yep. And you had the opportunity to swap it for your Dark Steel Aether Vial, would you? I don't know. Oh, the, the wheels are turning. For a second. Oh, so he anime. <laughs> the, an, the the anime one. This is actually sent to me by uh, by a fan, which I really appreciate. Sublime artificer. Yeah. All right. What are you doing here? Oh, the last page. All right. The reveal. Sliver. <laughs> yeah. The last page is the slivers. Mm. We got the queen. Yep. Which you don't have. Shut. <laughs> now I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Overlord, foil, pack foil. Yeah. First sliver. That, that sliver you? queen that Surge mysteriously acquired a few <laughs> years ago. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have two legions. Yeah. I don't know which one I want. This one looks better. Does it? Okay. It's Ron Spears. We'll I mean, the judge it. promo's fancy, but I mean, Ron Spears. Sure. Have you... Uh, have you played? I seem to recall you playing a, a sliver Canlander deck. Had a hidden Morphon. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, Morphon didn't make the didn't make the cut for the main group, so he's down behind. I played Sliver for Mother's Day. Uh, nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody loves you quite much like Sliver Mom loves you. Yeah, look at these pages. Like they're sure. All right, the, the, I guess we'll throw out the binder too. That's fair. You can use binders, just this one especially. Just get a new one. Uh, did we, we? Did you resleeve red? Are these? Yes. Yes. Okay. Amazing. So I can. Yeah. Are toss you comfortable? It. Toss it. Toss it. Yeah. The binder is dead. Ding dong. The All binder right. is dead. And the inventions are no, next. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not those. Here, it's, I got a few more for you. <laughs> it's a shame. I feel like slivers are one of those decks in that like can't really be played effectively so in, still. in commander. I I played it. It was fun. I, the problem with slivers, well, is it's one. It's, saying why they can't be played is because everyone's so scared of it. That yes. you just automatically become the target, and you can't do anything. Yeah, it's like if it's let if it's allowed to develop, it is very powerful, and if you don't let it develop, it just folds. You kind of just have to bully the slivers player. Yeah. yeah. It, so yeah. it's just so it's just like not fun to play, in a in a commander game because you yeah, just are. automatically become yeah. the. Yeah. Arch enemy. Oh, I mean, I I had fun. I, I won um, Elder Dragon hijinks with uh, Olivia and Ailey had me on there, and they they let me do my thing, and I won. So you heard it here first from Benjamin. Bullying works, Wheeler. <laughs> yep. And that's the official stance of the Commander Advisor. Oh, okay, yeah. Just bully Wait, the sliver player. <laughs> yeah, bully the sliver player. 
Um, we should start wrapping up because it's already eight o'clock. Jesus. Yeah, okay. and uh, I mean, I guess we could we could do these last couple cards while we're talking our way out, and I don't expect you two to keep working like too much longer after this. Well, I am. I think I might focus on this pile because there's some like extremely. I am just so grateful to the two of you for joining me this whole time. Uh, so let's do the whole uh, YouTube out, friends. Thank you for watching. This has been an absolute delight. A reminder that we can't do anything without your support over at the Patreon at Patreon.com/slash/LoadingReadyRun. Uh, also, LRMTG is sponsored by our wonderful friends over at Card Kingdom at cardkingdom.com slash LRR. It's an affiliate code that lets them know that we sent you. You see like a spicy single like this and you want to get it for yourself. Cardkingdom.com. And if you ask really nicely and say, Loading Ready Run sent me button, please, uh, you get a hilarious little one-inch enamel button uh, that says, if uh, if I live, I... Wait. If I untap, I win. If I... What, what? If I survive, I have lethal. Or if, I, I survive, if I live, I have lethal. If I live, I have lethal, which... Um, which <laughs> The magic content that was quoted from is actually live on the LRR YouTube channel right now, LRR MTG YouTube channel right now. So yeah, ring the bell, dingle the dongle. <laughs> I don't do that hand gesture that Wheeler just did. Whatever you want to do down in the comments. Uh, you're an absolute delight. Thank you very, very much. And we will see you next time.